Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Disclaimer, this video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language, content is inappropriate for minors. Video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Dumb Show. Lord of mercy. We need lots of help today. What did my camera go out? We are on the wide. Hey, the Dr. Green Thumb Show live on YouTube, Twitch, Discord, and the home site, www.bereal.tv. What it do? Dr. Green Thumb. And back by popular demand, our OG in the house, the legendary godfather Man. up here. It, I am so happy to finally be back on this show. Let's I've missed this show. I've missed all you guys, man. Oh, man. I got nothing but love for everybody here, man. It's just a pleasure to be back on your show. Everybody has missed you. And you brought um, a guest today who has uh, been on the show before, but I was on tour and I was very vexed that I was on tour because been a fan of this man since day one, my man D'Lo Brown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? I, I, I'll, I'll echo everything Godfather just said up there. I, I was upset the last time I was here and you weren't here, so I'm glad you're here now and I can't wait, wait, wait to wait, top wait. it up with you. Wait, so you were mad that I was hosting it? No, everything you said. <laughs> you did it was great. It a pleasure to be on the show. Not by what he just said. No, it was a pleasure to be on the show and you happy to be back. Okay, you It's be been too long. You're worse than Cali. I already see that. Bro, <laughs> this room is full of smoke. I'm already. I, I got a contact already just sitting oh, yeah. here. <laughs> yes, it, that 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 is known to happen. Trump slap. We also have uh, Psycho Lazy in the building. So look, Lazy, what up, dog? Cheers to How you been? Man, good seeing the Godfather again, Big D. You, you already you know. Looking very, uh, D, huh? very f splashed up today. You yeah. don't like good well looks. fit, son. Thank you, man. Thank you. Got you to know? say, salute Hill figure up at the Treehouse. Treehouse crew, Bolton, Blombo, Bra Bra, and the Dominator. Yo, yo, what up, B? We're doing good up here. We also got Pedro, and we got C minus chilling too. Oh yes. DJ C minus Mr. Goodlight. What up, everybody? What it do, Mike? We got the Concentrate King Cali Blaith in the house. Good to have you back, GF mm. and D-Lo. Good man, good to see you. Yeah. Yes, man. It's good to have you both up in here, man. Um, I, I saw like we were laid up at the same time for different reasons. You were you just had a knee surgery, right? Just had knee surgery. And I had like the hernia surgery, and we were both laid up. How how many weeks were you laid up for? Well, it's, I was actually laid up for about three weeks. It's been what? What? what I was December twentieth. About eight weeks. Nine, now. Eight, nine, nine weeks. weeks. And I'm maybe two weeks from being a hundred percent. So I'm almost there. You look fucking good Thank though. You. I got to tell you, Thank man. It looks like you've been like on it. Fifty Lost pounds. Up. Awesome. And I hate to say this, <laughs> but I really mean it this time. I really don't drink anymore. You're not sipping tea no more. Um, very seldom because right. I'm on a 1,200 calorie a day diet, and Jack takes you right over right away. It's worse Ooh, than a Big Mac. That's discipline, Damn. man. Yeah. Well, hey, what like what does this 1,200 calorie diet consist of? Um, in the morning I'll get up and I'll have some egg whites. Yeah. And uh, no bread, none of that, and maybe uh, some fruit. I'll have a protein drink around one o'clock, and then around four o'clock I'll have a small meal. I've cut out. A lot of carbs. I've cut out all sugar. I've cut out all alcohol, basically. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm very seldom will I have a drink now. No pasta, no bread, no fast food, uh, and no fried food. Boring. Yeah, no fried food. Yeah, no weight? French fries, no Damn. fried, none Damn. of that stuff. That's boring. But, you, you know, <laughs> as I've gotten older, though, as I've gotten older, it's easy, and it's easy to do, and it's just... I. I feel better. I have more life. It's it's just it, it's better for me. No doubt. I think with with what 
you and 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 D'Lo have done throughout your career is like in in the discipline of you know carrying out what you guys do in the ring, like and working out before you get to the ring, like that discipline I think helps you guys snap in when you need to because you guys already have a discipline like you know you guys go through through what you what you guys are going to do in the ring and then you execute it take mm -hmm. all the bumps and all that stuff but you know that takes discipline you know to to execute everything the way it should so nobody gets hurt and so you put on a great show i think like snapping in for health reasons like a diet like it, it becomes easier for you because you have this yeah sort of innate sort of discipline, you know what I mean? It was, I think so. Yeah, it was hard for me to stop drinking Jack Daniels. That's the tough part. And like yeah. I said, if if we had one shot here, I would do it maybe, but I'm not looking to drink anymore. And I've got, like last night, I was having a hard time going to sleep, and it was like I had to get up at 3.34 in the morning to get it ready to come to the show. And I'm like, man, maybe I should have a shot of Jack. And I went mm -mm. to grab it, and I'm like, Wait, that's a lot of calories. No, you need some of them good old uh, gel caps we've been talking about for so long. <laughs> I've got to get you home with some. RSO, SHO. Yeah, like those will help you. What's up with, with Undertaker? He, he stopped drinking too? I don't think he stopped. He got that one man show. He drank a lot on that one man show. Mm. Well, maybe he did that one with you. Oh, yeah, they I know. both drank a lot on that he one was, man show. He was there. <laughs> you were I was there. there and I, I got a story I could tell, but I can't really tell it because it ain't, it ain't PG for anybody. Cause, <laughs> cause, yo, I don't care if you GF, it, but. I remember that. He's part of the reason you quit. I remember that one time you guys went hard, and, and it was like the end for you. It was like. Oh, yeah. So, uh, okay, so we're, uh, let, me, let me fast forward or oh, rewind here. here we're, we at the, go. we're at the Anger Taker One Man show there in Las Vegas, you know, last year. And so. Taker's up on stage and he calls out Godfather and they bring and as as Godfather's coming out, there's a show's getting ready to start. They walk out and brother goes like this. Some some you know whoever's hand manages the show puts a bottle of Jack in the middle of a table. Oh man, just like that, and then leaves and the spotlight is on the Jack. Oh man, so now the Jack is, is the opening act, it's right? It's the setup. Yeah. So then boom, and all of a sudden then Taker comes out and he starts talking. Now mind you, he don't he don't touch the Jack the entire time. Right. It's just there. Then he called. Then he calls GF out on the stage, and GF joins him. And all of a sudden, mm. crack. Get the cups. The now drink, the it, drink it, off it's a again. full <laughs> bottle of Jack, right? They're already forty-five minutes in the show. Sean has got about another got about another hour left to it. You look up. It's one shot. Boom. And then Tate goes on to tell a story, and Godfather goes pours another shot <laughs> for both of them. Boom, boom, right? You even see Taker's in the middle of telling a story. And he goes. Boom! Shoots it. Next thing that bottle of Jack is gone in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes. Gone. Damn. Gone. Oh my God. So they finished. You finished up. You can see. I I know. I know. Pop. I've been around his brother for a long time. He's sitting on a stool doing this. Just. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if you don't know him, you don't know that 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 mannerism, right? So yeah. I, we've been out many times. I've seen it. So finish up the finish up the whole deal. Building empties. We're going downstairs to go go see uh go see Taker. Well, Godfather gets back behind the curtain. They got to bring a wheelchair up there for brother, because because his big ass and you know he's fifty pounds heavier at this point. Yes, his big ass fall over. Also nope. cane too. No one's on picking him up, too, and nobody in this building is picking him up. Yeah. So we get we we get, <laughs> get in the elevator, right? And 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 we got to go down like three or four floors underneath to the locker rooms to the dressing room. So there's a guy who works for the the the, the casino. I'm not gonna mention the name. He pushed the building. Right then, Godfather goes, D. I got a piss. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, go, oh I go, I go, I go, I we'll, go, we'll be downstairs in, in 30 seconds. I look over at D, he's like, almost there. Hey, D, <laughs> I got to go. And I was like, and, and for those who know, I call Godfather Big Perm. Mm. I, go, I go, Big Perm, this ain't a bathroom. He goes, it is now. <laughs> Stands up, lifts it out, and just lets it go all over the elevator. And I'm like, you gave it a wash, huh? <laughs> you, yeah. you see the brother working the elevator. He's just got this disgusted, like, oh, oh my 
God, these crazy wrestlers. Classic. Classic. <laughs> if I'd known, classic. Right uh, there. Yes, if I'd known you. <laughs> wow, dude. You didn't know he was going to go all the way with that, did okay. you? But <laughs> in, in, my, in my defense, in my defense, <laughs> hang on, in my defense, Taker calls. That was also Taker's birthday. I think it's March 18th right yes, before WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taker goes, hey, big dog, I'm coming to town. It's my birthday. I'm going to bring you up on stage. We're going to have some fun. Well, he's got these millionaire, billionaire buddies that own something called Nine Line. Right. Okay, so they invite me to dinner before. And so I come there, and the first thing they do is what? They put a bottle of Jack there. So oh, my, my <laughs> stupid ass drinks a bottle of Jack with them. They bring out another bottle of Jack. Midian shows up. We drink another bottle of Jack. Mm, we go to Taker's show. They take us in his dressing room. He's doing a pre-autograph thing. They give us another bottle of Jack. Oh, but, man. Okay? Oh, damn. Taker comes in, throws everybody out. But me, and he goes, sits down, we start talking. What does he do? Opens up a bottle of Jack. Mm. So no, no, so he didn't know. He, no, I don't think he knew, knew. <laughs> he might have had an inkling, but he, f- um, he found out. He found out. What, <laughs> this is also, I don't do pills anymore. And I'm going to say his name, Midian. He was a pill head. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, now I'm drunk. And I'm like, man, I don't want to go out there limping in front of these people. I don't want to make I look old. Midian goes, Take this. Oh, man. It'll oh. Make, he goes, it, it, I'm like, what is it? He goes, don't worry. It's nice and easy. Uh, It'll uh-huh. take the limp off. So I take it. 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, it was a Vicodin. And Ooh. 20 minutes later, I walk on stage, and I don't remember anything. Wow. wow. So it was bottles of Jack yes. plus Vicodin. Jack. I probably you, drank you, at least a bottle and a half. You did stuff. the rock star life all wow. in one day real quick. <laughs> but the sad part. Was I had to fly out at, and the show was like Ooh. at eleven. It, it ended, at night. yeah, it ended almost midnight. Mm. I had to fly out at six thirty in the morning Ooh. from Ow. Canada. So you had to be up at what three? My, if my son was home, if he went, he he woke me up. was like, Dad, are you going? <laughs> and then I I jumped into that on the road mode, got up, boom, boom, and got to the airport. But Painful. from that day on, was, I really haven't drank it, much Jack. It, it really a, got me sick. That one was the one that put you yeah. over. It, it it wasn't where I couldn't even smell it for a while. Put you over the top, that one did, huh? Ooh, yeah. That pill, that was all you needed. I mean, hey, listen, much. listen, you know, you washed the elevator. At least you didn't piss yourself. <laughs> no. Oh, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would have been an even worse story to that, tell. Uh, I, I would have. I'd be telling that story till the cows came home. I like it. <laughs> it was not one of my finer moments. I hope it was a big elevator, like ah, not no tight. It wasn't that big. <laughs> it, 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 luckily, it was one of those construction elevators that wasn't, you know, oh, wasn't. Okay. It was freight you know, elevator. Great, yeah, freight elevator. Yeah. The, the the grading all over it. So it just somebody in the basement was getting a, getting a shower. Oh. Oh. The question is for dinner. Did you have broccoli or asparagus? <laughs> <laughs> I had broccoli. Oh, man. Someone but, had mean, a nice time cleaning that up, but right? I, yeah. Mopping that shit up. <laughs> Vitamins. But boy, since we're telling stories, I could tell some stories about D-Lo. Hey, uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Uh-oh. Let's go. Oh, Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I, why don't we bring up, if you don't mind, <laughs> why don't we bring up a story? There, in wrestling, there's something called the wrestler's court. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have Ooh. we have a version of it called homie court. Yes. Where uh, Undertaker was He's the a judge. judge. Yes. yes. Okay. And you can take another wrestler to court. Instead of hashing out something in the ring or somebody mm-hmm. getting hurt or doing something stupid, you go to wrestler's That's court. A civil way yeah. of um, resolving issues. Yeah. Well, one time we were in Chicago, yeah. Delo's hometown. Yeah, Delo yeah. says, "Big perm. Yeah, don't worry, bro. Don't worry about nothing. <laughs> when you come to Chicago, <laughs> I'm gonna get you the chronic. I'm gonna get you the bomb. I'm gonna get you the yeah. dank. You are set up." And I'm like, "All right, D man, because you know we're only there a short time, and I'm, you know, I got my hookups there. Tell them stay home. I got you covered." So, fast <clears throat> forward to the drip. My my hotel. Uh huh. Delo knocks on the door. I don't even know what to call this stuff. It looked like tobacco with stems and seeds. Oh, and this man. is the chronic. This is the dank. This is the bomb, right? Crazy. Okay, now it's so late, I can't find anything. Now it's like 12 o'clock at night. Yeah. So I, okay. So what do I do? I took him to Rustler's Court. Yes. Oh, boy. Misrepresentation the of what the year word was chronic. This? It's 97? 97? Yeah, 97. Yeah, but D-Lo being a wise person. <clears throat> yes. Savvy man. What? How did you get out of it? So, did you get a you lawyer? To undertaker? What'd you do? So, so in wrestlers' court, um, it is a very diplomatic system. You right. Know, it, it's For George, it's it George Prud- Judas Prudence. You know, you sit down and is a, is, you got your judge and your jury is the, the 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 court there, and you hear arguments from your your lawyers. Well, 
<laughs> yeah, there are. You no defended people. yourself. No, I didn't have. To, well, I didn't have to defend myself. You have a meeting with the judge. Oh. Before you go into wrestler's court to plead your case. Right. So what I did was, I want. I knew I was going to go to wrestler's court. I went to the biggest <laughs> liquor store I could find. And I, I didn't buy a bottle of Jack. I bought the, the hundred dollar gallon bottle, right? Like the big ass bottle. You know? Bribery, right? Bribery. That's the best way to get a wrestler's court. <laughs> so I walk in, I find Taker, and all I do is walk up. So sir, can I talk to you? And he goes, yes. And I go, <laughs> and he goes, case dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> that's a just system. That is that. Yeah, I mean that's that's a way to handle it. <laughs> now, if I rewind back to the weed story. Here's how I got burnt on the chronic. Oh, okay, now we got excuse. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you. So the week before, I'm not going to mention my friend, but he always got me. I, 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 call him Cali, or I call him Chicago Fire. Right. Chicago Fire. He brings me some stuff. I come home from the road. I'm like, whoa, this is some perfect Godfather stuff right here. Look at this. I can't even tell. Like, it, it's amazing. I was like, you get more of this? He goes, yeah, I get this anytime you want. Mm. Cool. On the road. Chicago dog, I got you spotted. I got you covered. All right, get there. Let me go pick it up. Dude, this is not what you brought me last week. That guy's out of town. I got a different guy. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> I, know how that, I know how that works. Uh, 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 can't this different guy get me some better stuff? Nah, man, that's all we got. That's all he got. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm going to the hotel the whole time knowing I'm screwed. <laughs> and I'm hoping that he's already got something else that when I hand it to him, he don't realize. It's what's extra. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. And my perspective, firm, yeah. Open the door up, his big ass opens the door. Here you go, what's up, dog? Here you go. And I look at his face, and I just see this. <laughs> what the <laughs> All right, man, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, that was it. And I knew right then, oh. I'm screwed. You done fuck. I'm you done. Did, you yeah. know you were going to, 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 to court. I messed around and found out right there. <laughs> So yeah. this is this is Chi Town ninety seven. You said it's Chi Town ninety seven. Oh, some weed was doo doo, bro. Yeah, it, it was, right. especially Chi. It, it was that. It was, you know what that? It was that weed that like someone smuggled across the border, was pressed in a bag, yeah, yeah. had been Brickweed. had been in, had been mm. in a barnyard for about a year, uh, and then they opened it up and start you know start distributing it. Yes. Like this stuff was pressed yeah. dust. Yep. Let me ask you this: had had you not bribed the judge, what would have been the punishment for the conviction? He could have knowing it was Taker. It could have been anything. It could have. It could have been. Like what were you? He might have had to pay my rental car for a week. Yeah, or something like that. Pay for my hotel room for a week. Yeah. He gets okay. the cheese. Or for a couple yeah, of days, yeah. he has to pay for my hotel. Or what I'd was the I'd worst? To, what I'd was the buy worst dinner? Right, I had to buy oh, dinner. Oh, you have to buy dinner for me. What was the worst decision for for another wrestler that you saw go down in 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 court? What do you remember? Uh, you mean what? Well, they I, did I remember Mark Henry going. No, to what court. the punishment was. But I don't remember. I don't remember the bad punishment. What do you remember? I, I don't remember. He's looking because I don't remember. A, I don't remember yeah. like a bad punishment. Like all right, who's did the most felonious thing <laughs> that deserved? Um, well, Mark Henry sitting in first class. Uh, this is what got Mark Henry put to court. This to me was felonious. Mark Henry was sitting in first class, and Undertaker sitting in an exit row. And as the plane, when the plane takes off, Mark Henry stands up, and you know the flight attendant curtain. Yeah, he goes. And closes it on everybody else, the entire roster that's back there, <laughs> including Taker and Sean and Vince. Wait, I don't even want to look at you, one. Oh my god! <laughs> and he does the and, and and you heard the whole plane go, oh. <laughs> and right then you were like, brah, this is gonna be. It was, it was, it was usually <laughs> stupid shit. Yes. It's, it's instead of me tatering him, uh, yeah. hitting him, you know, catching him with something, it's called a tater or, or get you know. Just work it out that yeah, way. Yeah, you don't, you don't get mad get over, over stupid stuff. You take it to court. It's all, it's all yeah. And, so, and besides, when, when you, you've you been on the road, you need that. It's the same thing every right. day. Yes. So that court breaks up with the monotony. Yes. So you get something that's as trivial as, uh, you stole my protein shake. We're going to court. Yeah. You need it. So I'll, I'll tell you what. We had the same thing on the road. We had homie court, right? And you could get the same thing. You know, any little thing could get you mm -hmm. jacked in before the judge, right? And uh, so there was one show um, where we were in the first couple minutes of the performance, right? And I'm smelling some crazy shit, like someone threw a stink bomb on stage or something uh -huh. like that. And I'm looking for the little fragments of glass <laughs> that a stink bomb leaves behind. You know, if somebody right. throws it at yeah. you, wherever it lands, it's going to be those little 
bits of and, and the little Ugh. smear of the, the thing. So right. I'm looking Shit. for it because it egg. smells fucking horrible. Gross. I say, egg okay, bomb. I'm going to go to Send Dog's side of the stage and make him switch. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, I made him switch, and then I thought, okay, by the time I come back around, maybe this will like have gone. worn out, right? I go back <laughs> over there. And it seems okay, and then boom, another blast. I really get mad at this point. Wow. I'm like, what? No good, motherfucker. Oh, threw fucking with you. Threw a, a goddamn stink bomb on stage. So I'm livid the whole show. I'm just going at this point because, you know, you got to be pro and, mm -hmm. and deliver. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, man, if I fucking see who it is, right? <laughs> I didn't see who it is. We get to the end of the show, and everybody was like, hey, dude, what, what, what's, what was going on with you up there? You look pissed. <laughs> and I, I was like, man, some no good son of a bitch threw a stink bomb on my side of the stage, man, and it was fucking awful. And Dougie, you know Dougie. Yes, you remember no Dougie? Dougie? Dude, that wasn't no stink <laughs> bomb. That was your tour manager. He was standing in front of the fan busting ass, and you guys were down with. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Homie court. <laughs> Oh, yes, oh, homie uh, court. Uh, yes. Bro, on it, that it, wicked on a stage, it made it all. He was like, he was, wow. he was, he was, he was, Lethal. he was standing in front of an industrial fan. <laughs> you know the kind That's Michael crazy. Jackson be using, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's standing in front of that busting ass, thinking it'll disperse it, <laughs> <laughs> and, and it shot it straight to my lane, and it, it damn near singed my nose fucking hairs. Right. So we we made up this little this little summons, dude. Oh, we put man. his picture on it, put his summons to homie court, and we slipped it under his fucking door. You know what I mean? You've been summoned to homie court for the offense of blah blah blah. We listed the offense, and uh, his his whole thing was that he could not be within a hundred feet of the stage <laughs> um, after that show for six months. Like he had to, like, he could not stand nowhere near the stage. That was. Oh, my God. I feel sorry for the crowd, too. Like they have to just. I don't know if they there. caught no, it, but I know like, I caught yeah. it, bro. And you that caught shit, it twice. I caught it twice. I thought I, I, okay, I thought it was over. <laughs> Come back to it, bam, like a boomerang. Yeah. Um, that was, yeah. So th th there was things like that. And then, like, if, if one of the homies was talking to a chick, and the other one came and cock blocked him. Homie court. That happened a couple times. Was every pony. And then, and then another homie court. Yes, there was fines for that. Um, but what, one of the other homie court was that everybody was asleep. It was we were on our way to Amsterdam, and we had one last joint, and we all agreed that we weren't going to smoke that joint till we were, you know, maybe an hour out, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And so one of the homies wakes up earlier than everybody else and he starts burning that joint and i smell it right away like it woke me up out of my fucking bunk i'm like who the fuck is sparking the sparking the joint we go up there and it's one homie sparking it i'm like homie court right there we all were like immediately it was instant I like that. to the back of the bus homie court. now hold like that. in this homie court who is the judge in this case i was the judge okay you know what i mean usually eric bobo is the judge Really? Um, yes, he 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 was the presiding judge. I was a defense attorney. Okay, I think he's and, easily corruptible. Yeah, <laughs> I was never brought up on any charges, <laughs> but so definitely tried some cases. Um, and that was definitely one of them, man. I mean, you know, he smoked the last damn joint. Yeah, no, nah, bro, that'd be some heat there. Yeah. <gasps> Yeah, his punishment was he couldn't smoke for the first, like when we got to Amsterdam, he was not allowed to smoke <laughs> for the first hour. While we all smoked, he had to sit there and watch us. So like, good. Brutal. Good. His 10 minutes early burned him an hour. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And in Amsterdam, everybody's like excited. Oh, I need to go get that bag or whatever. And That's you want to be out there at whatever so cafe cool. smoking mm -hmm. out freely. And no, nah, we, we made him hold out for that whole hour. Like, nah, you can't touch nothing. For for the first hour, <laughs> did he look like a lost puppy sitting there watching you guys? Oh, he did. People that knew us was like, "Hey, did you stop smoking or something?" It's like, no. I'm about punishment. I, I'm on punishment. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that joint. Did you like Amsterdam? Oh yeah. I mean, you, you it's know an what experience. I didn't like about it. What's that? Is 
all the cafes, it was everybody was mixing back in the early. Tobacco. Oh yeah, that, that part, that part, that I don't. Change. Change. That didn't change. Tobacco. That's that all of Europe. Just, it was that's, like, that's England. That's, that's all Europe. England right that's now. Europe. Well, it's right it's, now. It's, still, it's, yeah. it's most of Europe because yeah. traditionally they only put a sprinkle of weed in their more joints, than, uh, and spring. it's more and it's more uh, tobacco. Correct. But you do have some euros out there throughout Europe that smoke pure like we right. do. It's just that. We make it look monstrous because we smoke these big ass joints pure. There is no tobacco, right. and and we're smoking it sometimes to the head. So yeah, right. we, we're complete savages in that regard in, yep. in comparison to how they smoke. Oh. You know what I mean? It's like a pinch of weed yeah. and a whole lot of tobacco. It's a cigarette. It's yeah. a cigarette. It's a cigarette with a little bit of weed. With a little yeah. kick. It, but there are some that will put more weed than tobacco. Or hash. They use hash, too. Those oh, they'll they'll yeah. put, hash put hash on top hash of it, too. Yeah. too. Yeah. Well, the, you know, that's the thing. That's the shit I really can't stand is because we used to get past those. And before we knew the culture, you know, we'd pick them up and smoke them because we thought, oh, fuck, they're throwing joints. And it'd be like all tobacco <laughs> with, this, with uh, the hash sprinkle. Right. And I hate tobacco. Oh. Like, I hate the head spins. I hate the taste, everything. I, I, I took smell. a big-ass drag, and I... First tasted the hash and I was like, yeah. And then I got the, the shit from the the tobacco oh. and I was like, oh man. And yeah, that's the worst. That's when I stopped picking. Like anyone that gave me a joint out there, I'd be like, nope. tobacco in it. Still a yeah, thing. okay, you yeah. keep it. Don't it waste it because I'm not. I'm not gonna smoke that shit. But yeah, man. But now you did. Nowadays you find more um, pure cannabis smokers in Europe since since it got legalized in uh, Spain and. Yeah. And yeah. now, watch, you're going to see that the, what's going to happen in Germany right yeah. now is ridiculous because there's excellent cultivators down there. They just had their hands cuffed for so long. And a lot of people were saying, too, that friends that I knew that were from Europe, it wasn't that like they didn't want to smoke joints, too. It wasn't really accessible, and the good stuff was really expensive. And it's so, expensive. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, they spent a lot of money, so they stretch it out. You know, for us, it was way cheaper, and it's all available, so... No. Yeah, Whatever. for us, we'll go up there and like blaze it all up like yeah. an ounce in a day. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Some dude seen when I was in uh, Astro Club the other night, he came from somewhere over there and he was like, is that all weed? I mean, he was like, you gonna right. smoke that? Yeah, I was about two more right after. He was like, that's like a week. And when Euros come in here, like when we've had a couple people from <laughs> Europe and they see that we're all smoking one of those to our head and not sharing it, yeah, they yeah. really flip the fuck out. Off Thank of you, that. COVID. Yeah. COVID like ended like Well we were kind of doing it before yeah, COVID but, in the smoke box But now you can not offend somebody no. You know what I mean by saying sorry bro I don't share joints you know I, 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 Yeah I won't I, yeah. Re Rarely will you see me hitting anybody's joint I'll give them one of mine before I mm -hmm. hit oh, someone's hell, joint That's When right. I smoke with people I always say I'll, yeah, I'll smoke with you but I gotta have my own stick. Yep. Yeah. I gotta have my own stick. You know. What I'll I mean? share my weed with you all day. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. I'm but we ain't gonna touch the no. same joint. <laughs> it's crazy how back then you. Poor me. Everybody would. Imagine die back for in the day of the parties, going through like 20 people. It did. It just oh yeah. yeah. The whole room. Oh my oh, god. Hold on. Hey. Think, think of the process of building a blunt back in the day. Yeah. 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 That. Oh yeah. Oh, Les <laughs> Leezy still does that. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about COVID. <laughs> yeah. Hey. So, but that's that's some real shit. Like because. For the most part, my immune system is good. Like, I don't get sick easy, right? It's if, because we, we would have this happen here, is that we all smoke, we all bring different kinds of weed. So mm -hmm. someone might come in, well, back in the day, someone might come in here with a cold or sick, but because they don't want to miss out on hitting miss, that hit joint, that they bump. won't tell you. Yeah. And then they get everybody fucking sick. And yeah. that happened here right before COVID. And after the last time I got sick, I said, fuck that. I'm not sharing any joints or taking any anybody's joint from here on we all got real sick at the end yeah. of december 2019 right yeah. before COVID. right before yeah remember yeah. that everybody here that's like when i actually started coming right. in bro was i was like, down for three weeks everybody was really yeah. sick and then all of a sudden like it was the beginning or end of january they said COVID. we're like yo that's probably that's, what everybody that's what we got hit we with we all had because it. it was it wasn't like the devastating flu. Was it like the flu? Usually the mm. flu I'm done with in a week, maybe. You know what I mean? Three but days. this shit had me three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I, like my lungs fucked up, you know, congested, aching, all the shit. Yeah. But it wasn't called that then. Nope. No, no, they you know, know they was, couldn't man. figure that yep. shit out. I think I got it from, you know, some Traveling. fucker that had it in here that <laughs> hit the joint and then it spread to everybody because everybody got fucking sick. And right after that, we stop sharing joints. We'll share the weed. We'll all bring it. We'll roll it up. We'll roll yeah. it, like 
Colts are got right here. My own stick. I'm gonna fucking yeah. pass them out so nobody's, you know. Yeah. As and I haven't, <laughs> knock on wood, been sick you like that. Six cent? Yeah. No. No, man. Lucky you. I just had that new flu like about a month ago. Mm. Thanks. I mean, I mean, we grown men, man. We supposed to smoke our own joints. Fuck that passing around yeah. high school shit. Yeah, it's, yeah, it, it, less. Yes. Shit that part less. Shit ain't high school. At, at no and, point, at no point do you share a bottle of you know you don't. And, and we gotta be real yeah. with with pounds and pounds of weed. We don't right. need to share a joint, little joint. Well, you like, think about it like this: old dudes that smoke cigars, those cigars ain't worth as much as any one of these joints. These are more expensive. Oh, right. well, you know what I mean? They're cigar. smoking them nasty ass things to their head. <laughs> My father passed. smokes them, and some of them bitches are expensive as fuck. Cigar would be like 80 bucks for one. Like the heat cake, like yeah. uh, the good Cuban. Well, uh, how much Cuban. is that joint you're smoking right there? If it was retail in a mm -hmm. store, mm -hmm. 30 bucks. What? Easy. That one? It's two grams. Or what about the bigger one? Three, four grams for probably 60 to 80 bucks. Right? One, yeah. So that's oh, the yeah. equivalent to an of expensive cigar. cigar. Yeah, a, a good, good cigar. Yeah. You're going to pass People that around like to somebody? 10, 15, nah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, sir. No, I would yeah. not. Nobody passes Cohibas around. Yeah. yeah. So Hell, why pass no. that around? Cigars. cigars are nasty. You yeah. They're all wet. These taste better yeah, than your cigar. Oh, well, it's subjective because, you know, old men. They might yeah. tell you, oh, fuck that weed. No, my dad Sorry. smokes weed. He'll out dab most people. Like, my dad smokes. He got his puff coat. Good gram of Roz on a day. He takes down his <laughs> He does. Good 73 years old, and he still loves it. Good for him. Loves it. Yeah. Man. Show my pops every weekend. You know, I'm not really a big cigar smoker. Like, I could I could chill around smoke the smoke, but I can't. I'm. Yeah, yeah, it's like I, you know, it doesn't bother me as much as cigarette smoke. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cigarette yeah. smoke, I cannot. Yeah. Stand pipe that smoke shit. be smelling good, but like, cigar really? smoke. Pipe? Yeah, bro, pipe tobacco smells good. Nah, like I've never been smell. around a pipe I smoker, but yeah. cigarette smoke. I can't stand cigarette smoke. I can't stand cigarettes. Cigarette smoke. Will it'll take yeah. my. It just. I'll walk in a room and it's there. It smells like shit. It takes my heart away. Like yeah. my, my all my breath. Ooh. I turn around, and leave. I start talking nasally, like oh, oh, oh. stop coughing, man. Because it. There's still places in Vegas that are sports bars that have food. And gaming, and you can still smoke cigarettes in yeah. there. I think oh. if they let you smoke cigarettes Evan. in there, they should let you weed. smoke weed. Yep. They're damn right. That's right. They should it would smell better. Out there. It'll offset. It'll offset. That's it. happening, though. It's starting to happen. Out you there. know what? It'll it'll offset that nasty-ass cigarette smoke. Sorry, C-minus. Dude, hey. <laughs> well, you imagine, I love Vegas. Remember back in the day <laughs> where... You could smoke on a plane. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Talking about yeah. They, yeah. Had the, that. they had the nerve to have smoking sections on a plane. Yeah, on the back <laughs> of the plane. The whole plane <laughs> smelled. Yeah. So, oh. so I'm in I'm in Japan, <laughs> and it's it's whatever restaurant, and and we get asked, do you want smoking or non smoking? So we say, okay, non smoking. So we sit down. There's a glass partition right there, right? <laughs> The glass goes up about four <laughs> feet. Way, yeah. That's the smoking sections on the other side. Oh my god. So it's like we're sitting. You can still smell the smoke, but. I'm just sitting on this side of the glass. Well, technically, sir, you're on the non yeah. the non smoking right. side, but, the, but yeah, on a plane. So on a plane. Yeah, yeah, on a plane that's crazy. Bad. On a four or yeah. five hour hey, flight that, with people smoking. That should yeah. tell you how strong nicotine is. Yeah. Is that they would allow well, that, that shit because yeah. people needed to smoke a cigarette on the back yes. of the wow. You know how great that is for a cigarette smoker. I would have been like. How many oh, planes still have the ashtrays? The little ashtrays, yeah. The, yeah, little, the, the old, old ass planes. Yeah, the yeah. old ass ones. You know you're on an old yeah. ass plane. Yeah. If you when see, you the see that. Yeah. Oh, shit. What, what do you think? What 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 year was the, the, the last? I'm going to say late 80s or uh, early 80s. No, I'm going to say no. early 90s. No, 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 no I would say early 90s. Early 90s. Yeah. I remember. Mid 90s. I remember flying to Japan as Papa Shango, and that's like 92. And having smoking sections on the plane. It was yeah. probably, yeah. what, 92, 93? That was 91, 2, yeah, it was right there. Because I remember getting yeah. getting on some one of what would maybe be some of the last flights with smoking on in 91. Yeah. And then in 92, yeah. it started lessening, right? So I, would, I would say, I would say, I, got, I would say 92, 90, 93, it kind of like yeah. stopped. 93, yeah. it stops like Cold for turkey. sure, yes. That just, was just, yeah. just nasty. Being it was. Like, I couldn't imagine. I mean, because that, that was really before I was really flying a lot. Uh, I couldn't imagine being on a plane. It was and, horrible. And just be sitting there, like smelling that fresh air, and all of a sudden, here come that, you know, that it was ugly worse. cloud. Oh yeah. Hey, look. I'll tell you what. Like we we uh we started traveling on the ass end of that. You know, go on the on it going out. It was still there on the flights, mm -hmm. but we were taking and we were sitting in like the fucking back of the, the plane at this point. Right. So we were getting all of it right then, and it was just fucked up. I, like <laughs> when they stopped it, we didn't even really notice that they stopped it. 
You know what I mean? Because they didn't really go out of their mm. way to say, hey, Good there's point. no more smoking on the flights until maybe a year or two when they couldn't get people to stop smoking. They had mm -hmm. to actually, like, announce uh, it. Yeah, they right? did two things. Like, just, you know, like... Um, in the U.S., I think it stopped earlier than international. International flight yeah. was different. So what I was going to say is I believe, yeah. I could be wrong, but I think it stopped in the late 80s for, like, domestic. Yeah. But when you were traveling yeah. out of the country, it went into the 90s, I think. Yeah. You know what was worse? That seems, yeah. seems yeah. right. Yeah, international. What was, what was, I'm sorry, what was worse was being a kid in the country sedan station wagon. Oh, windows. And there's oh. eight of us with the windows, and yep. your mom and dad are puffing like oh. chimney oh. stacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Because it was cold. With the windows up because yeah, it was window. cold. and. The That's whole trip it. to L.A. from San Jose, my Yo. parents would be smoking. Yo, Damn. my pops used to be smoking, and all the ashes would fly to my face. Yeah, in the back yeah, seat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in the back seat. I'm a little kid. Yeah. And you like, best not complain. Don't, don't no. complain. Don't yeah. say a damn thing. No. This yeah. going to make you stronger, mijo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <I can't. laughs> this little bit of ash in your face is going to make you stronger. No, shit. I remember, like, you know, on, on our first tours, a lot of the guys smoked cigarettes. I was, like, the only one. Well, Muggs didn't smoke neither, but, like, some of the other guys did. And we had to, like, implement the rule. Ain't no smoking on the fucking bus because this shit ain't it, this shit ain't it. Do people oh, no still, cigarettes. I guess they still smoke like that, right? I think if the boss smokes cigarettes, yeah, then it goes by what the boss does. If right. the boss doesn't smoke, nobody is smoking on the fucking bus, mm, right? Facts. But if the shot caller, it's all upon them. And oh, if he yeah. wants to be cool. Yeah, he might allow yeah. you to smoke. He or she might yeah. allow you to smoke on the back of the bus. Yep, open the window or go up there with the driver and open that little front window and take care of your business. But not going to do it in the main. And it, you know, <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah I was, remember going to dress rooms back in the day and seeing some of the old wrestlers right after they get right done after the match in the locker room, <laughs> taking it. You know what they call square? Hold on, before, yeah. even square. Before, that's right. Yeah. Square. And new ports were new pimps. New yeah. pimps. Yeah. Big, big Herm. There'd be some of the old school guys who were dragging on a cigarette, and their music is playing to go yes. out to the ring. Well, so they're getting that they're getting that last hit before they go out to the ring. I'm hey, do okay, you guys well. remember um, this boxer? I think it, I don't know if he was fight, fighting Floyd Mayweather or someone. Can't remember, but he came into the ring smoking. Like he went to the weigh in, smoking a cigarette. Oh, fighting Wayne he, Mayweather? he went into the ring before the fight, smoking a cigarette. He was bucket. 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 Oh, the totally John disrespectful. He got his ass whooped. <laughs> I bet he, did. he got his ass whooped. I can't remember what, what fighter that was. He it was needed a, to. Get it. Oh, Damn. man. He came in cocky, smoking that. Um, like nothing. It was if I had a match, man. Within probably, you know me. Mm -hmm. Within five minutes before my match, I was probably smoking. It, yeah, but it we, was my right? my yorga. But we, yeah. it was my yorga. Thank you. Uh, oh, that's I, I remember that. My yorga. That's crazy. When you said the name, yeah. Oh, yeah I, I don't know if he's he's uh, from Central America or or South American, but like, yeah, he came in. I can't remember what fighter he was fighting though. It, it might have been. It might have been Mayweather, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he came in. Told, uh, Damn. There he goes, right there. Lamp, uh, what's his name? Not, uh, not a good idea. Smoke him here, if you got him. his ass How out. disrespectful is that? That's, Just, that's crazy. Because <laughs> when you think about boxers, you don't think that. Stamina, uh, yeah. yeah. You're not thinking of that. They need endurance. Yeah, you don't look at them like they smoke cigarettes. Because you, no. you, you, you never see one with a cigarette. Right. But this no. guy was just out. That's like crazy. out front with it, he was winning fights too. Like he was not, yeah. He was not like just some pushover, but like I can't. For I boxing, it's crazy because you got you know who John Daly is the golf. Yes, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. he's crazy. He's like, wild. This man. dude, he goes out there with a cigarette, chugs no a beer, shoes on, like no shoes, chugs a beer, and then usually hits like a four hundred yard oh, drive and so whoops everyone's ass. But literally after pounding, oh, he knew how to party. I'll see, he don't, he don't fuck around that guy. You see this kid? Do you know? But do, hold on, you want to hear his dietary habits? Do you hear about his, his milk drink? There you go. Look, there right you go. There. Look at bro. That. This that? guy yeah. literally drinks a gallon of milk a day and six full Hershey's chocolate because he pulls puts like almost a full one in each one. Damn. Six of those a week and seven whole milk every bro. week. So there a gallon of chocolate. Milk. Hey, go oh, wow. go back to the first shot. <laughs> Go back to his first shot that you showed. How many Marlboros would that have sold if they were alive? Oh, <laughs> golly. That's, that's the Marlboro. That's the new Marlboro, man. The new right Marlboro, yeah. man. Look at that mullet. 
Yeah, he had the party in the His front. Son was just I like mean, that. You, you would own the front party in the back. You would own the South with a mullet and a cigarette. Sure yeah, does. and a golf club. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I mean, look at that. Yeah, I mean, we don't talk about it. <laughs> it's like golf, art. you know, it's such a like, you know, uh, the big like snooty sport. So they hate him because he's just like <laughs> just straight white trash. Like, let me show you how it's done. I, you know, yeah. I never got into him, man. I just yeah. never got into the cigarettes. It's like I hate him. Good. Hated him. Yeah. Is he wearing That's Oakley's? A great thing. For yeah, me, he's for probably me, wearing Oakley's. For me, it started when I was a kid. Like I said, my father used to smoke, so I used to hate that yeah. shit. Yeah. My mother used well, to smoke. I used to be too, coughing. Yeah. My, 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 mom smoked, my mom smoked her ass off. Like she was one that would light the next cigarette off the lap, like just yeah. chain smoke. Chain smoke. And I think I tried cigarettes twice. I tried it once to same. see if I liked it, Ugh. and twice to confirm I didn't like same. it. Same. Right. I did that same and thing. And that was it. <laughs> I did yeah. that same thing. That first time, I should have just taken what I got the uh, first time and known. But the second time, it you know, because it happened. Like, I know a lot of cigarette smokers just stay smoking because it, it's a coping mechanism, mm -hmm. right? Like, so if something happens that's, like, traumatic or anger or sadness or whatever it is, it's a go-to, right? And uh, at this point, I had went through some crazy shit. So I thought, you know what? Let me just... <laughs> Let me try it, Were right? Were you at a then, funeral or something and somebody gave it to you? Like, no, it wasn't a funeral. Like, the first time my brother saw that I was, like, looking at him smoke a cigarette, mm -hmm. and he knew I was intrigued by it, so did, I think he was doing this to turn me off from it. He goes, you want to try it? Mm -hmm. And he gives it to me. He doesn't tell me how to hit it. Mm -hmm. So I hit it the way I thought I seen him hitting it, which was inhaling it. Uh-oh. And it blew me up, so I fucking hated it. But went through a, a thing... I think it was probably maybe 92, 93. And I was really pissed off about something. Probably a chick, I would imagine. And uh, I thought, let me just do what the, the homies do. Let me try, see if this, and I hated it. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? Pfft, let me get a joint. This shit is, I don't know why. Stoke motherfuckers it. fuck with this. <laughs> but I will never touch this shit again. No. Because it gave, it brought me back to that feeling that I had when when my brother, you know, like, turned me away from it but then i had that taste in my mouth the head spins and i was like nah this yeah. ain't mm -hmm. for me ever and that was like my second time yeah. confirming that was a confirming that I was didn't, a confirmation I didn't. yep That's were you it. a smoker 30 years whoa you don't hear this voice Shit. I just thought that was, I, thought, I just thought that was a new york thing no no well, no i was always Come on, B, I, I don't talk like that yeah i'm sorry yeah. you see the nah difference. b you I'm know you don't talk too. like that no, you don't talk Come like on, that man. No, you Shit. know. No, he meant the raspy. Yeah, but no, oh. I, I've always had like a, a deeper voice for sure and a little raspy. But after for years of smoking, it's definitely got to have gotten raspy yeah. over the years. Smoking and whiskey, Ooh. whiskey, with whiskey Ryan. and 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 <clears throat> smoke. Ooh. And if you are smoking blunts, yeah, you really get the, the rasp. Like my voice would sound totally <laughs> fucked up right now if I would stu have stood smoking blunts consistently yeah. and the whiskey. Oh, yeah. I quit in 06, up. the blunts. Once I moved out here, I, I literally never smoked joints except for like, I'd say early, early 90s. But once Phillies and White Owls and Dutches, that was everyone smoked blunts. And I didn't start the paper till I came out here and realized how many people smoked paper and the weed was so much better too. And I was like, damn, I never went back to a blunt ever again. That was it. Mm. It was over. It's just stayed paper. Good for you. Yeah. It was way better tasting though. Like if you had... Good weed. I was able to taste it more. So how about we converted Psycho Lizzie over here? He was like yeah, smoking same. blunts left and right. Now he's fucking yeah. smoking yeah, papers. Yeah, yeah. Papers, I love papers. Mike. I love the tips. You know, pause. But um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. um, <laughs> yeah, man. It's 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 one of those things where when you turn that corner, you realize, damn, I've been missing out on all this flavor. Right. Yeah. Because that yeah. blunt wrap will, you know, it. You could still taste the weed, but like it has its own flavor on top of it. Yeah. Right. And for me, I just when I liked it, I liked it. But after I I lost the flavor for it and it was doing something to my my vocals and shit like that, I let it go and I realized how much I was missing on flavor by wrapping it with that thick shit and not just putting it on a, on you know on a white paper or whatever bleached paper, unbleached whatever. Just something that was a lot thinner than that fucking tobacco leaf. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Yeah. I'm going back a long time, us smoking at the Rainbow. Yeah. And I could never understand. And I think it was rappers that did this. And it was a big thing to r roll $100 and $200 blunts. Yeah. And I, I used to say, why would you take good weed and just 
put it in. I don't understand that. Let yeah, that was ridiculous. I didn't. I don't understand. I never understood that. I mean, I could see making a paper and putting a hundred dollar bill print on it. Yeah, and rolling your weed with that. But that's a seller right there. Yeah, that's an idea. Yeah, I could see that. But well, yeah, I just. Like, why would you do that? Did I mean, it's a different high, man. The blunt high is a different high. I'm not going to say it, it's, it's bad because when I did smoke blunts, you know, it was great. I loved it. Was it was a great, yeah. yeah, it felt great. So, you know, for all the people that smoke blunts, hey, hey man, good. enjoy hey, it, I don't man. Enjoy yeah. that I ain't mad at you. Me I ain't mad at you either. I don't do it. I would just say, hey, for health purposes, switch over. Yeah. You but, know, um, it's better on your lungs, better on your throat, just better. Taste. Better taste. You hear that, Santos? Say that. And especially, you know, like all those He's here smoking a blunt no now. Good. <laughs> Say that to Snoop Dogg and, and Wiz Khalifa. No, Snoop Wiz, Wiz don't smoke blunts. Oh, Wiz smokes yeah. the papers. He right? smokes papers. It's Snoop that smokes the blunts. Ton of you, be Skinny blunts is, too. It's addictive. He's not, not talking shit, but to put a little more weed in them blunts, man. I've seen a couple of them, and I look over, and I'm like, Right, pin, yeah. like an old '90s style. Blunt. If if he Hello, if, skinny. if he put <laughs> as much weed as we do in the paper, he'd be smoking that one blunt pretty much oh, half yeah. the day because it would be fucking <laughs> slow burning and a whole lot of weed in it. And if you're smoking it to the head and not like passing it to people, right. yeah, you're gonna hold that for a while, which is good. Yeah, you don't gotta keep re-roll. You gotta don't gotta keep rolling joints or, or I mean rolling blunts and have like a fucking little. And that was another thing, 100% we used blunts because they burned way slower. So yeah. we had no money. We were buying tray bags, nickel bags, dime oh, bags, yeah. 20s. And, so you yeah. wanted it to end, by the way, there was a cipher. And so those that was days a joint, it was the cipher, yeah. Yeah. Right, you're in a cipher. The joint, it would have been second person yeah. done. So right. you had to have blunts back then, um, 100%. Let me ask you this. Um, did you watch the Super Bowl? Yes, some of it. Who'd you who'd you have? Who'd you guys have? I neither. I, neither. You I, didn't care. I mean, I'm a Raider fan. But who did you think would win? I would rather see Kansas City than the 49ers. Just, I'm from the Bay Area, man, and you were either a Raider or you were a 49er. Right. right. I was hate a Raider. My dad and my brother were 49ers, so I still have that hate for the As a Niners. former <laughs> former Raider fan, because they left us too many times. Um, yeah, I didn't want to see San Francisco get that. Yeah. See, I wanted to yeah. see them when I just, we said the same thing. I knew yeah. Kansas City was going to come. I back. put money on Kansas City a week out, and at halftime when they were down by 10, I doubled down and put more money on them. You won money that, that day because they were underdogs. Yes, they were underdogs. For some they, reason. They, were, they, were some, they came in as a one and a half point underdog, and by halftime when they were down by 10, they, I was getting, I was thinking I was getting five or something. I can't wow. remember. Was that, was oh, that, was that, that one. Um, Taylor Swift's team? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Kansas, Kansas City. Yeah. Yeah. Say no more. <laughs> yeah, conspiracy. Yeah, when they were down, I was like, put more on them. Yeah. Yeah. Because that would it opened at one and a half because at the beginning it was like three and a half. They would give it was them the a, nine. It was at one, a, it was at one and a half. One. And then I I know at halftime they were like they can't you know, Kansas City was like plus three fifty at that point. That was a mm. smart bet though, because that's my home right. bro. He's an yeah. end of the game comeback player. Like he's on he was like, uh, what's his name? Uh Brady. Brady in the second half. He's I on his way there. If he Brady. doesn't get hurt and he stays healthy. He's breaking records. Yeah. That's yeah. The thing. If he don't get hurt and he and they keep they gotta keep some pieces around gotta him. Gotta keep core, yeah. Yeah, because you know, you saw his offense was a little bit down this year. Yeah. They gotta keep hard it. to keep guys once it, you it win is. a Super Bowl. Yeah. It's hard to yeah, keep everybody guys. Everybody offering them paid. money. Yeah. yeah. Once Everyone they win that paid. when they first win that first chip, they don't care anymore. Yeah. Now it's about making as much money as I can. Yep. You ever hear uh what's his name? Uh, Mahomes in the interview? Talk exactly like Kenny Powers. Like, when no you way. get a chance, when we're done, Google, no. Pat, just put in Patrick Mahomes, Kenny Powers, and watch when you're going to shit your pants. <laughs> identical. Like, identical. Like, you think he's joking. Like, it is absolute hell. You can't put that up, right, Paul? Did, did you watch that series, East Bound and Down? Oh, yeah. Oh, Lo- yeah. Loved, yeah. Oh, loved, loved it. Loved it. Yeah, it's hilarious. Let the boy but, watch. <laughs> only one that... <laughs> <laughs> they said, hey, they do sound alike. When you put their voices up he against does, each other, he, you ain't wrong on that. <laughs> so oh, my God. Let the boy watch. That was the greatest scene ever. And I'm making love to my wife. Hey, how how was Vegas that that week? I know it was like chaos, right? Well, Delo lives closer to I live it closer, than I but do. It. As long as you stay away from, like, you knew where the trouble area is going to be yeah. on the 15 or on the strip, you avoided that. And we live so far out in the suburbs, you don't even notice what's going on. Yeah, it doesn't even affect you guys out there. No, where I live, not at all. And I don't I don't go into town. That, and then for okay. me, it's like I just. I, I'm eight minutes from the airport, so I just avoided 
going near the airport. We're yeah. almost at two separate ends of Vegas. Yeah, we're on the opposite ends. I'm, we're on the opposite ends. He's, he's uh, northwest, and I'm um, southeast. He's All closer right. to the state line than I am. He's, oh, okay. He's a lot closer. All right, on. It, it's a good 30 minutes from my yeah, house. I'm about, as, I'm about as far out of Vegas. I'm on the far ass end of Vegas. Any Like the next neighborhood, you're out of Vegas. Right. That's how far okay. south yeah. I'm about as far north as you can go. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're close to uh, going. You're going towards Area 51, right? No. No? Is that the other no, way? No, that's, that's the other way. That's going, that's going east. Oh, that's going east. Yeah. Have you guys ever, like, trooped up there? Check things out? Just passing through. I, I, I want to go, but I'm afraid they'll, they'll, I'll get hooked in and they'll experiment. Let's go, man. Let's fucking do a group thing. Oh, let's just let's go, do it. Let's go watch it. I know where it shit. is. There, there is Have a, you ever seen anything out there? Like, you guys live. You see stuff in, in, the, in the sky at night, yeah. but you don't really know what it is. Yeah. There, although, I will tell you, I saw it on Facebook. It looks a little sketch, but there's like this uh, UFO tour you go on. And, right. And I was all in until, brother, you know, the advertisement goes, We'll call you two days out, and you will meet at this undisclosed location. You can't tell anybody where we're going, and then we're going to go out into the desert. We're going to drive 50 miles out in the desert. Oh, mm. Yeah. That seemed a little sketch to me. Say, you know what? I'm going to bring my own car yeah. with my own homies, and we'll follow you there. We're going to have weapons. And, and it's Vegas. <laughs> I, it's weapons. Vegas. I can carry a gun. Yeah. You know what I mean? That like, yeah, that, that, that is kind of sketch. <laughs> sketch. What do you think the alien tour is going to be out on the 15? Of course, you're going to have to go off road. Well, wow. look, anyone that goes to watch really goes towards Area 51 and, yeah. and looks towards the Rockwell, sky because yeah. they're not going to get in on the grounds. You're not going to get in. No, on no, the no, 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 no. But it's really what's in the air. Going in and out. Trying to yeah, like you can only get like a, it's a mountaintop away. You can't get any closer to that because then it gets like restricted space. Yeah. I used to hear stories. I don't hear stories anymore. I guess it's kind of, I never hear stories about it anymore. What'd you <laughs> about think Area 51. Of, what'd you think about them putting the little alien twist into season two of the Fargo? I thought that was yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah I great. Because it's, it's believable. <clears throat> right. You know what I mean? Especially like out in there. In those areas. Yeah, in those yeah. type of rur rural areas, I guess. You know, one left in season two. I'm finishing <laughs> Oh, good for you. That was you guys good. ever watch Fargo? No. Bro. Oh, you guys no. should watch it. Never watched it. Never got into it. It's pretty Worth fucking it. good. Well, it's really It took good. me forever to, 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 to find it. Everybody was telling me about it, and I said, eh, whatever. Because yeah. I, I never watched the movie, so right, like right. I wasn't interested in the, the series. It has but, nothing to do, yeah. But yeah, someone right. told me, hey, forget that. Watch it. It's a good series. So I was Got into the first episode and it was ramped up from the episode right one all the way up to season yeah. whatever the fuck it is right now five I think yeah six. five six. They're on five and they got great actors in like in all the season so far Chris but, Rock's season was dope who's Chris Rock not there yet oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh -oh. so they got big actors mm. and they're what's so dope is every season you're in a different era like following the store from di uh, right it's gonna continue that way like season three will be. Different time yeah. zone or no? Well, yeah, different eras. Different. It is, right? Yeah. yeah so, so. Kylie, what, what was the, the alien twist they did? No, they show oh. like people. Hey, I, I haven't watched it. Let's not spoil this damn thing. No, no. I mean, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm joking. I'm, I'm not I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm, joking. I'm, joking. I'm not yeah. going to I'll, I'll just so. give you. You should watch. I'll just give you a, a, a little sub because it's going to take you. If you do watch the series, it'll take you a minute. But there's, there's a, a thing happening at a hotel and a shootout ensues um, at the hotel between law enforcement and some thugs, right, that they're looking for, or a family that they're looking for that's uh -huh. like, a, like almost like a crime family out there. And while they're shooting each other up and motherfuckers are dying and, and you know, all this, you see a big-ass light come over and it washes over them for at least, you know, a few minutes. And some of the, you know, they see, they all see it. Criminals and law enforcement, they all see it, and then it fucks off. Some people don't even stop doing what they were doing. <laughs> but there's, there's, there's a reason for this UFO. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you oh, what okay. it is because okay. it because I'd have to start watching it. Bro, I promise you, you yeah. will not okay. be. You will now, is, it. does one season build on the next? So if I just jump the first, into the UFO, UFO season, the, will I miss something? The first two seasons connect. Okay. The third Fourth, fifth, and sixth don't necessarily connect because they're Stop based on different third, yeah. cities within the the proximity of Fargo. Okay. And the things that are happening there. Yeah. Um, Lots of Minnesota, South Dakota, like that. Minnesota, like, South Dakota. All the uh, Odas. All the Odas. <laughs> And all they all girls. talk like that, heavy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Heavy. accents are. Kirsten yeah. Dunces. Oh no, she was really good. Yeah, that. the accents were pretty good. I seen the movie. But no, the movie nothing, has nothing to do no, with the. No, well, nothing. I think well. 
it's I don't know if it's got Absolutely. nothing completely to do with it because they they do use things that were um from the movie just to, locations just locations okay. and stuff oh, like okay. that but they're not no not the, like I said it's only the first two um the first two seasons are connected the rest are within the area sort of like the movie the movie's based off of something in the area or the story is was that mm-hmm. Ben Affleck was he Fargo no nope. I think it was uh Billy Bob Thornton oh BBT mm-hmm. he was in the first episodes of uh he was First also season. he was also but yeah. he's playing a completely different character. Yeah, but I forgot he was in that one too. He was ice cold in that great. first season. You guys he, need he to see great. it. Did you just call him yep. BBT? Who? Did you just call him BBT? Me? No, Blaze. Oh, I missed it. What see? <laughs> did you call Billy Bob Thornton? <laughs> yeah, BBT. BBT. Sure did. <laughs> All right. Thanks. All right. Yeah, I'm glad you heard that. I caught that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Gave him a little, little new moniker yeah. there, bro. <laughs> you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. LOL. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> All right. Before we go any further, let's check this out real quick. Hey, how's it going, you guys? It's Ariana coming from you live again here at Dr. Green Thumbs LAX. We're located here at 5494 West Sentinella. That's just 10 minutes away from the airport. Uh, we got a bunch of daily deals, uh, rewards programs, 30% off for first-time patients. So definitely come and check us out. And back to you guys at the studio. Thank you very much. Check out the Dr. Green Thumb locations in California. All right, we got that gas. Um, Before we go into submissions, this shit was on the news this morning. This dude, uh, I don't know if you guys see, seen it. It was uh, this dude. Is a bodybuilder guy outside maybe of his gym or something or close to his gym. And he was out there with his little dog. He had his little he was hugging up his little dog. And three dudes roll up on him in a Cadillac and try to jack him. Here's here's the, the Oh, try to jack the dog? Yeah. Yeah. No, they oh, try to you. jack his Rolex. Oh. He doesn't give it up though. Not a boy. He doesn't give it up. Oh, there he's taking his little shots. He's taking his, oh, kick to the head. Little kick to the head. Look like Ron Simmons against Ahmed Johnson. And they're not strong enough. The puny little arms could not, uh, you know, take the watch from Mr. Jacked Up right here. Oh, he got a piece, too. This is him. What? That's why they could not grab the watch out of his Oh, head. yeah. No. He's, got, he's rolling up 150. <coughs> That's a lot, bro. Yeah. That's a lot. I'm yeah. saying, why are you rocking a rollie to go walk the dog and well, chain, hey, and, chain it, and all hey, that? Hey, do, do you not? really need permission yeah. or yeah, exactly. a reason? If I'm you saying, just want to go flex, you could flex. Flex so down, down the sidewalk to the old lady? So you're saying it's his fault? Yeah. Uh-huh. You got to know your surroundings. I got a rollie. That thing sits in my closet. I don't even wear that damn thing Exactly. No you yeah. got to know. And it's not the Rolex that the, the that the Rock supposedly gave us. <laughs> <laughs> all right? That thing turned my wrist green. Oh, boy. Oh. It was a Nolex. It was Bolex. 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 Not once, but twice. Twice. Oh, boy. (laughs) Rolex. Hey, but those three guys, right, they ran off with nothing, and they jacked someone down the block maybe an hour later. Oh, damn. (laughs) Yeah, these three guys. Because the bus saw this happening. was Burbank? No, this was on Hollywood. I saw it. They was on a mission. Yeah. They're like jacking fools with jewelry on. They're like just (laughs) like... Whoever's walking down the street, if they see why something you shiny, that liquor on you, man. Yeah, <coughs> got yeah. brim right here. And two of them had, you know, two of them had <coughs> guns. Yeah, he got a piece on him right there. You can see it. The dog was trying; it was trying to get in there. The dog is like, "What the fuck?" It's like, "What are you that, doing that, to my that, homie?" That, those one fifties. That's hard. And the one tens were the most. That my gym didn't even go over, and that was a lot. One. You got to. It's a special gym that carries one fifties. Like, yeah, definitely, those aren't normal. They go I don't know the most. I can't remember what I've done. Might have done one fifties, but I can you probably see you, could. It was I can see. I see. I know you could do one fifties. I, I, I back in the day, I could easily done one. I got. Yeah. I, I got a Godfather workout story one time. All right. I, I can't remember what town we're in. So Godfather's on. He's working on the incline press, right? And he's got like four fifty on that thing. Mm. And he goes, "D, can you spot me?" And I go, oh. "In my mind, I'm going, all right. Godfather's gonna trust me to spot him. This I'm important today. Yeah. I mean a lot. So I get up there and I, okay, I'll touch it light, right? Yeah, yeah." And I see him, and I should know it because every time he's fucking right, he chews on his foot. Fu- don't, don't give him my yeah. tail. That's okay. my domino. Okay. That's so, my domino tail. Be so quiet. He, he gets on, he gets off. He's sitting there like this. He goes, hey, hey, and he starts. And meanwhile, I'm going, ah, ah, ah. he's just jacking these things up, racking, and he's laughing. I don't need no damn spot. And he walks yeah. away. Well, by the way, when you at your, your, your peak, what would you what would your max bench? What did you, you get up to? As far as I can remember, I think I was like, my bench was. 565 
Damn. And my incline was 505. Damn. Damn. So Damn. I could pop four, I 50, 40. You were D-Lo. Oh. Yeah, you, you you roller. I could D-Lo. do it. D-Lo. D-Lo. Monster. Yeah. D-Lo, he ever tell you his, uh, his new Genix gym story? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Spill the tea, will you please? So, oh. you know, Deuce. when we, you know, some years ago, we were talking about the new Genix commercials that that uh, Frank Thomas and Doug Flutie yeah, are now yeah, doing, yeah. right? And uh, we were talking about this, and you know, we had a bit with Bobo <laughs> <laughs> about the new Genix, right? <laughs> and so, you know, Godfather hears about this story, and he is like, "So, what's new Genix?" And we explain to him what it is. So he orders <laughs> he orders some new Genix, right? <laughs> And it's like it's a shoot. Uh, it's this a, is shoot. It's a testosterone yeah, yeah, supplement. Yeah. It, it'll, help right? you, it'll help you in the gym and your wife yeah. will enjoy it too. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yes. You know who it is. So yeah, yeah. he decides right. to try it. He goes to the gym. And as he's, uh, what what exercise are you? Were you benching? You said I bench. I think, I think he was, was bench. said you were on the bench. And um, old happened. Mr. Happy decided. The she'll like it too part uh, happened. Yeah, so so he was in the gym. I workout like salute. Little, little, <laughs> he was saluting in his God, workout. Godfather yeah. Junior was was ready yeah. to do inclines as well. <laughs> he had some dumbbells going down there. Need, needless Hold to say, I, I don't. I didn't take it after that anymore. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't take any more, huh? So you know, someone else, <laughs> someone else from from our chat room. You know, they heard Godfather's story, uh-huh. and they're like, "I'm gonna see if that's for real," because they didn't believe him. <laughs> so homie ordered his own bottle of I can't remember who it was, but he he orders his own bottle of Nugenix, pops him, goes to the gym. He comes back later that day <laughs> in the chat room and says he wasn't lying. <laughs> I think I took too much, like always. You know my stupid. How many did you take? <laughs> if it says one, he took three. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I took. I, I I overdid it. You're not taking them no more. That's rest. No, no. Menta- that's no. rest's mentality. If it says take two, you go. Okay, I'm bigger than the average that's person, right. so two turns into four. Right. All right, let's go. That's the start of it. Yeah. So that's what you did. Six. I think I did a lot. <laughs> exactly. I think my wife is like, "You idiot! Why would you take so many?" I'm like. Yeah. yeah, get your heart because you're trying to do the wrestler math. Yes. You know, like okay, my body right. is this, and it's probably yeah. gonna take a little bit more. But it didn't. Did there's it. a lot of stupidity in wrestling math. <laughs> yeah. I will say that back in the, I don't think the wrestlers today are anything like they were when oh, we were around. I can I tell you, I'm I'm still in the locker rooms today, and they are. It is complete 180 from what I walked into. Um, you know, 25 years ago compared to what it is today. I mean, it's just night and day. This is the difference I noticed. Back when we were doing it, we were family. You might not have liked you, and I might mm-hmm. not have liked you, but if we were in a bar and we got you got in a fight, we would back oh, you. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And now it's just all business is how many followers you have. And right. You exist, yeah. And it's just, it's not wrestling. There's no brotherly anymore. love there anymore. No, and no, I don't know if that's, it is what it is. I'm not yeah. even, I'm not it's, shit talking. It's not, it's, just, a, it's not a, you know. It's not, before it, it was a community and a culture. Yeah. Now it's a business. Yeah, they won't yeah. have any stories that's like, the way I put it. these little stories that we're telling. They yeah, there's, no, there's not really many road stories. and Because um, they don't hang out. No. Well, there's no 300 mile drives anymore. Right. They don't oh, do that. Right. They're flying and yeah. Now they wrestle once a week. Private On jets. TV, they have their own buses. Play. Yes. We would wrestle five to seven times a Damn. week and have to drive in between. You guys, in between each town. You, you guys kind of paved the way for for the and the guys before us. Yeah, yes. no, I mean the and guys before us even had it even worse because they were on they were in territories and they would do three thousand mile loops around the territory. Every yeah, week. what they carved it out for you. You guys. Lay down the foundation now. Now these guys are reaping the benefit hey, of that. And I'm not mad at and, them. And hopefully they do that for the next they, generation. Yeah. The next generation. Yeah, as they should. Easier, you know, as but they should. They're going to miss out on some great stories. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard some good, um, uh, who is it? Uh, Iron Sheik and Savage. Uh, mm-hmm. Is that who used to travel together and like blow rails, like lots of blow together? I don't know if <laughs> Sheiky Baby and Macho traveled together too. No? Then then it was, who, who did she was, was Sheik Sheik and, and uh, Duggan. Duggan. And Duggan. Duggan. They're the ones that got caught. They're the ones that got That's trouble. Was. Elizabeth. That's was. No, I heard some stories mm. about them on the road just blowing through rails on the I'll, road. I'll tell you what. <laughs> what. What they're miss, uh, the new generation is missing out on. I think is it's it's that that touring component that you guys lived by, mm-hmm. right? You guys had to travel together, be together, like, and then the show, and then after the show, you guys were hanging out, 
all that shit. So it built that family vibe. And like you said, even if you didn't really see eye to eye with had his back. guys, you guys had his back because there was a yeah. family sort of uh, vibe to that because you all travel together, like and, yeah. and doing all this fucking work where these guys, they don't got that where they all maybe travel separate, they're flying or whatever, they ain't spending the same time together as you guys actually got to spend together, you know? So I, mean? I have a question now. Let's let's flip that to, to your industry. How is that today compared to, you know, 25 years ago? Is that similar paths? Like, is it less of a family now or more business now? Or I think some some still operate, like, in a family style, but they just sort of evolve into what, you're smart. You evolve into what's going on now, so you make it more efficient. But it's still a very much a family vibe. Mm -hmm. I think it's more like solo artists that might have the mentality where, like, I'm just keeping this business. There is, n there's nothing else but me. I got my squad, mm -hmm. but like, you know, everybody knows the place, right? Um, I think with pop stars, mainly that happens with groups. It's a team thing. Right. You know what I mean? So. It's it's getting to know each other, right? And and getting to know each other's uh certain things that you 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 have to learn to deal with, maybe, you know what I mean? But when you've been traveling together for 30 years, you've you already know that is when new people come on and right. you have to learn right. yeah, about yeah, yeah. them. Okay. You know, so if you're if you're building a new crew, yeah, it's like getting to know everybody all over again. But if you got like a solid crew that you've been traveling with for a while and everybody's still locked in. You don't really deal with that because everybody knows each other. We all know the lanes and we all right. work mm -hmm. together in, in one push, right? It's it's just when you build new crews and you like gotta tell this guy, hey, this is how we do it over here. Mm -hmm. Snap in. Or, you know, things like that. But I think as it relates to touring, everybody still tries to keep like a, a, a family vibe and, and it not just be about business because you ask you actually have to live with these people for right. eight weeks at a time, mm -hmm. you know, depending on how long the tour is, it could be anywhere from three, four to eight weeks. And you got to live with these people with all their vices, with all the, <laughs> all the shit that comes with them, including them, you know, getting used to and living with you, you know, whether it's a bus or however you're traveling, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I, I remember the, the early days of, of hip hop. It was, it was just like the wrestling. They used to put us, on a bus, a yep. tour bus with a bunch oh, of yeah. groups. I see. Yeah. Like we, we did was that on the road, you know, with a bunch of groups and we'll go hit these cities up. And I remember, I'm not going to say no names, but I remember one dude had a problem with me smoking weed on the bus. And, and my whole thing was like, yo, next time you come on a tour, do your research of who you going on tour with. Right. Right. Yeah. Cause, right. cause if you going on tour with be real method man or red man, you're going to smell the smoke. Right. Right. You understand? Do your research. That's yeah. Hard. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I've we, seen some. That was the early that. days. Like today, I, yeah. I, I don't even think they do that. No, they don't anymore. do that anymore. It's it's much like the wrestling thing. Everybody's so everybody's their on their own shit. jets or on yeah. tour buses. And Back in the day, like, so if you were signed to, let's just say, Sony Records and they had like three, four groups that are going to release a record around the same time, they might want to put them on, on a tour opening for one of the bigger artists so they might put a package deal together yep. and two groups might have to share a bus yep. you know so it's a combination of this crew and that crew and <laughs> you guys got to get that's along. gotta take some getting used to yes yeah. we did this with tim dog you know yeah. what i mean there was like five of us and like eight of them on on a bus tim dog right, i've seen some it was like crazy just as of like basically like that just Four or five different yeah. hip hop groups all packed onto yeah. one. Bus. I mean, sometimes like, it was the crews we was with was cool. Yeah, it yeah. would be yeah, a beautiful it was tour. Awesome. It yeah. would be like we Dope. we did a tour with Common Sense, a bunch of other cats, you know, and we was all all on the same label. So it's it it's about if you're traveling together, you become a family. Yeah, yeah. yeah you was, know, and, and if you don't do that, then you just know each other, but you don't know each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's I mean, probably what they're going it's, through now it's, is what young artists are going through now. Yep. It's too. 20 years now and we're all still friends and we oh, all yeah. talk and it's just, I bet you, and, I, and I'm not here knocking the new generation by no means. I'm just saying that I don't think they have the same camaraderie that we had. Yeah, no, I, mean, I don't think so. 20, yeah. 25, 30, Yeah, we're 25 I mean, years down the road and I can text any member of the nation at any time of the day and, and they'll, or I'll call and they'll pick up. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, and that's. That's everything. Hey bro, you can't say that word. 
What's that? Oh, that's right. Copyright. Trademark. Can't say that. Um, What? (laughs) Yeah, he just did it. They were just saying on the way over. They were talking about it. Next thing you know. Let D-Lo tell the real story. So we're in the car driving over here. We're on the 15 driving over from Vegas. And and we're talking about, you know, you know, Godfather's talking about names. He's got trademark. And I was like, man, I wonder if, if we could trademark the nation name. I wonder if they gave it up. And, and Papa's first thing was, well, what could you do with that? And I was like, well, a lot. And I was like, okay, I'll make a phone call. Let me get settled in. I'll make a phone call. And literally as we pull in, I look on Twitter or X or whatever the hell it's called today, and I look and goes, Dwayne The Rock Johnson was awarded the rights to the nation. Oh, man. I'm just curious. There was a, there was a vibe going in the air for that. Just well, that we have bad. a signing at the end of this month. We have a signing. Yeah, we have a nation signing nation. in Indianapolis, so I – Follow my Twitter you and you'll see where we're at. He won't stop that, though, will he? Would he, would he I, I don't think I don't, so. I don't, I don't think it. so. I, I, I would say he'd know, want he, you to do, why to did do he, it. Pat, why did he trademark it? He's probably got something so in he's mind. Got he's, something. he's got something in mind. He's, he's got, got something in mind. mind. He's, use he's got something in mind. And you guys built a value on that. So I think, you know, he, well, he they, knows it's valuable. I hope they take care of us better than they did for the young rock. I'm going to play the us. What is that button? Because I can pop it. Yeah, hit it. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Megan. I love that thing. Yeah. And it's Anytime his you voice. Get angry, that's me. And it's his <laughs> voice. That's that's everything. Yeah, All right, let's get into these submissions. This is where they make us hungry, D-Lo. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, they still made a bunch of stuff, but don't don't look too too hard over here. Like, there's my cheat day. All right, we got a bunch of submissions. First one of the day here, we got our boy Anthony, and he's showing off some roti that he made. Okay. Oh, I like got the roti. non going on there. Yeah. Look at yeah. that. Thank you for just saying non. You know, when yeah. people say non bread. No, it's just non. Yeah. No, yeah. non just means bread. Yeah. yeah. So you're yeah. saying is, bread, bread. You're yeah. being redundant. Yeah, you're being redundant. Non yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. I would have right. that right now. I would too. He says uh, inside of it, it is, um, let's see, it's curried beef, onions, potatoes, mm. and he also likes to add uh, salad and tomatoes. Okay. Mm. No okay. sriracha? Keeping it classy. Yeah. I, like right. that. I, put, I put sriracha on everything. I love sriracha. Who likes that hot stuff? Oh, I, I love sriracha. You had barbecue Good. sriracha? Sriracha. Oh. Ooh. Barbecue Ooh. sriracha. Try that. Yeah, yeah. barbecue Ooh. sriracha. Oh, boy. That sounds good. All right. Sounds good. Bring it. We got Cedric up in here showing off some pizzas all the way down in Chicago. Oh. Hell yeah. Okay. You made those at home, and they look all right. They don't. That's not like Chicago. Well, it yeah. Chicago Chicago, but you, you pub don't, don't get twisted. It's like Wah. Chicago. Uh, pub style. There's pub style, and there's there's deep, deep dish. dish. Yeah. yeah. So there's different Chicago yeah. style pizza. Everyone just thinks the thick lasagna. That's style. what I said. That's pub style, yeah. right there. That's the thin style. But oh, yes, yeah. instantly people go like. It, yeah, everybody deep thinks there's a deep dish. Uh, yeah. No longer on my diet. Yeah. No, I I'd, I'd pick the <laughs> toppings off the top. You, do you have like a a goal weight you want to hit, and then you'll you know like try I don't to have maintain it. it. Okay. You know. I'm just. I don't have it. Gotcha. You're Wherever I end up healthy, I, yeah. I end up. There you go. You know what? What pizza <coughs> you might be able to have that's, that isn't a lot of calories is the one with the uh, with cauliflower crust. That's the cauliflower crust is good. Oh. Yeah, and it's good. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. good. Yeah. You can't yeah. even tell the difference. It's a I'll little crunchier. I have to try it. Yeah, so it's yeah. real good. There's a. I'll I'll tell you. I don't want to give us some advertisement. I'll tell you a place in Vegas. There I mean, I mean, I mean, is one slice gonna really make a difference? Yeah. If you, Sometimes you're just you gonna blow the fuck up. Like no, but if you put slice? your body into a state of ketosis where there's no yeah. carbs in your body, Correct. you reset two weeks worth of work and to I get am, to that spot. I'm pretty much that's stay a lot. In ketosis. Yeah, right. that's a lot. I, I I stay in control. Yeah, like it takes well, a lot of your body. Sugar or carbs, so, you but yeah. if you right. if you burning that every day, psh, psh, psh. well, he's trying to shred down. It's different. Okay, who was three hundred and fifty pounds, me or you? Yeah, I hear you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, hear you. I see you. You're lucky I'm not doing shots. <laughs> man, you're violent. All right. I was gonna Stop ask, can you explain you, the whole uh, ketosis thing? You uh, deplete your body of carbs. Yeah, you completely ketosis, depart, yeah. De- deplete your body of carbs. And when you do that, and you check it by, like, the chlorine strips that you put in the pool to check, well, you pee on one of these things, it'll tell you if you're in ketosis. But when you are, you will burn fat so fast yeah. 
It's just you have to deplete your body of carbs unless you have a better way. No, to and and no matter as long as you're taking in um, high protein and right. fat, right. your body doesn't hold on to it at that point. It just yeah. lack of I'm not want to say it just runs right through you, it but does. it provides energy, but nothing stays on your body, and it pulls off excess body weight at the same time. Mm. If you're so, doing a carnivore diet, like just carnivore, that's exactly yeah. that. No sugar, only meats, only animal derived foods like eggs, beef, chicken. Yeah. You can eat it as much as you want and you're like, that's my mother didn't work real good for How long did it animal. how long good. did it take for you to start noticing the difference in, um, in months. Months. I did the intimate first. Oh yeah. And I got down to 275 pounds, and I couldn't. I was eating from 10 to 4. You plateaued there. Yeah, and I plateaued. And then, like I said, by watching my 600-pound life, one of those things that the doctor did, he put some on 1,200 calories a day. And then I checked into what I was eating. Even though I thought I was eating good, I was taking in 3,500 calories yeah. a day. Mm. So I took it down to 1,200 and weight just sh like I'm 250 right now, and it seems to be staying there. And I'm working out hard, so I'll, it might be 250. Right. Yeah. Which I'm cool with. Your frame Not is doing... 250. Yeah. Your yeah, frame bro, is, your your frame frame is yeah, 250. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Any lighter than that. Weight. Yeah. My wife was saying your face is getting thin and this and that. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I mean, you're you're <laughs> naturally a big guy. You don't want to get you don't want to be Stretch Armstrong. No. Yeah. By the way, that doctor from that show. He could be cold, man. Oh. Some, some of the stuff he says to the people, I'm like, yo, god damn. She was like, I'm going to starve. Oh. One of these ladies, she was like, you're not going to starve. You have three years worth of food built up. God. I swear <laughs> to God he said that to her. She was like, I'm going to starve. You won't starve. You have two, uh, year, two three years. That's a sad show, man. Sometimes it is. you're disgusted. It is. Sometimes you feel sorry for him. It's just well, because they're, they're addicted to food. I was yeah. just They are say. addicted to food. And people, then my wife's like, you're no different. You're addicted to weed. Listen, like, uh -huh. and oh, guess wow. what? Well, you're right. <laughs> people with food addictions have 10 times harder than people with substance yeah, addiction because you know why? You got to eat every day. Yep. When you quit drinking, you don't need to drink. True. When you quit smoking cigarettes, you don't need to smoke. You have to right. eat have three to eat. times a day. So yeah. you are constantly right. having to face that demon and choose. So it's very, very hard. It's all know? about choices, people. Yeah. Bring it. All right, what else you got? We got Smokestack. He's saying, yo, Dunkin' Donuts got that whey protein. Got that oh Dunkin' Lace Donut. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, That's dude. an oxymoron. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That don't make no damn yeah. sense. Come yeah. on. Okay. It's just the flavor, it. probably. It but sounds still. disgusting. Dude. Like, that don't make no damn oh. sense. Uh, let me, a donut that's what the new wrestlers are taking. Let, let me let me, I'm going to take some protein that, that tastes extra sugary. That, that's going to yeah. remind me of the donut I'm not allowed to eat. Right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Don't even do it. No. <laughs> yeah, no. no. I, I won't be taking that one. We got Slappy uh, showing off. Check out this plant I grew in super soil, he's Whoa. saying. Ooh. It's called Space Ooh. Bomb. It's a cross between Space Queen. Um, yeah, Space Queen Cross, he's saying. Looks good. Yeah. yeah, it looks a little sativish. Like I was yeah. gonna say, haze almost, but yeah, it's yeah. good. Oh, nice God. color. Yeah, wow. I like those sativas, yeah, bro. Good. I do. You know, that's a pretty party plant. She purdy. Mm -hmm. You pretty. still have your your thing going? No. Oh, you stopped. I, I had to stop because <coughs> I was on the road so uh, much, and I had nobody to tend to it when gotcha. I wasn't there. And I'd come back, yeah. and lights would be off. Yeah, yeah. Would be off, and I had to stop doing it because I was, yeah, I, you know, I had nobody to tend to it until you're, you know, fully grounded. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's it's oh, it's good. a tough run. Yeah. We got Shogun. He's showing off a few <laughs> clips um of his matches. Here's a good day for it. We got Godfather up in here and D'Lo. Oh yeah, this is one of our guys right here. Wow. He's gotta be like three. <laughs> Full, full disclosure, I know brother right there. Oh, I, know, you do? I know Shogun very well. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> He's probably stoked ah. y'all are here today. Yeah. That's my dog. Where, who taught him that? Ah, um, you know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> each one to each one. He's a big boy. Yeah, yeah he's, he's he, from Detroit area. He's a good brother, too. He's putting in a lot of work. He's a good, and he's t lost a ton of weight. He's a good brother. All right, on. Go. Let's go for him. Yeah. Right there. Uh, what do you think? Is like he's probably 350 there, and he's Damn. he's probably dropped 7,500 pounds. Wow. 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 Good for him, man. Keep the keep up the work, bro. Outstanding. Good, man. Good for you, bro. Wow. Ooh, clothesline. Yeah, clothesline from yeah he's always sending in. All right. That's my dog. Yeah, looks dog. nice and stiff. Good for him. Whoa, whoa. If you watch it, text me, bro. <laughs> what? Yeah. What do you mean, what? Fight he looks nice life. and stiff. You didn't Either think that was going to get a whoa? What stiff means. I would, let me explain what stiff well, means. Well, apparently you have a... Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> watch out. Stiff now. also means in wrestling, when you're 
re- really putting it in on somebody, yeah. it's yeah, stiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's still a pause. Stiff. I'm not it's saying you're stiff. wrong. Is that like the tool in your pants? Oh, right. Tell him before Godfather yells me, "Blaze, bring me a tool." I'm like, "Whoa!" That was before the show. Talk about a dab tool. But you left the word dab out, so it was very woeish. I said, hey, I said, Callie, give me your tool yeah. and your pants. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah that, that, that was a weird conversation. Yeah, I felt that it awkward sound right, did. for a second. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was like, I've known you for a minute. Is there something like, you want to tell me? That didn't sound right, did it? <laughs> Happy God. Yeah. yeah. Look, I love you either way. There's something you want to tell me, don't go? Yeah. Before we ride back. Yeah. <laughs> We've known each other a long time. Oh, I got four hours with you on the highway, dog. <laughs> It's going to be an uncomfortable ride home. Oh, man. All right, what else you got? I was just going to show the last video here of Shogun right here. (laughs) Just his volume isn't working with his uh, video. Pow! He's been trained. Oh, Oh, he he can go. He can go. For a big boy, he can move well, too. How tall is he? Uh, Six, one, two. That's perfect for today's wrestling. Uh, He looks like a monster today's wrestling. True that. At one point, I was the smallest guy in the locker room. Was he wrestling by? Hey, what? Shogun, Shogun Action Jackson. Cool Jack, for him. Yeah, Act, Jack, yeah. Act, oh, okay. Got to wrestle man. Action Jackson, so. Yeah. He's but he, he, he wrestles, uh, he works, he's on a developmental deal for TNA. Okay, cool. Who do you work for, Impact? Yeah, TNA, TNA Impact, same thing. All right. Right on. Developing you know, new talent, right? That's what he yes. does. Hell yeah. We got Christian <laughs> up in here saying he took his little nephew to see his favorite wrestler, Jay Uso. Okay. Oh, boy. I remember those when they were. I remember running around the locker room. I remember when their mom was pushing them in the stroller. The yes. twins. That's crazy. That's how far I go back with them. Yes. Wow. Little child with it. And look at them now. God bless them. They've done great. They, they're they're done, killing you know, the game. Killing they, it. They took their opportunity and ran with it, and they make more opportunities for other young wrestlers. So killing the are game. Are they third yeah. generation? Right or they're, fourth? Fourth. Fourth. fourth fifth? Fifth? You lose count now. Yeah. Once you start their get, family been in it for a yeah. Long once you start time. getting that the, the legit Samoan bloodline, you kind of lose who's related to who and who's from <laughs> yeah. whom. But you all know that you know they all been around for a minute. Yeah. Yo, let, let me ask you guys something. Are you guys into lucha libre? Do you watch that? Uh, I have watched it. I've yeah. watched it. 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 Uh, what do you I, think? Grew, I mean, I just want your opinion. What, what, I got nothing what, against it. I got nothing against it. It's just a, it's a different art form. That's right. like saying. If someone doesn't like hip hop compared to R and B, like gotcha. it's all it's gotcha. all music, and if it sounds good, I could. Yeah, yeah. it's wrestling. So if it, if, it. if it entertains, yeah, yeah. It's entertainment. Yeah. yeah, some of those some of those guys, like a, a few of them, came into the WWE. Yes. in the early days yeah. when well, it was WWF, right? That's where you get Rey Mysterio Jr. coming from, yeah. or Eddie yeah. Guerrero. Yeah, guys like that. I mean, it's, Tito Santana. Because the Guerrero, Tito was never really true lucha. Okay. Yeah. He was a luchador, but not a lucha. Okay. Yeah, lucha is more of the high flying. Acrobatic dance. Yeah. The dudes that do Flying. the flips. And yeah. All, the all of them wear masks. All of them wear masks. All of them wear masks. Yeah. Mil mascaras. Yeah. Now, there Ooh. you go. Yeah. That's a pioneer, Lucha Libre. He didn't, you know, the thing about him, he didn't do all the crazy high flying shit. No. He had a grip. But he was built right? like a house. He, he, yeah. he would he would he was fly, like but he would do one or two flying moves in the ring, but not yeah. the dives to the floor and stuff yeah. like that. But the stuff he did was so damn graceful. Yeah. And it looked so different to anybody else that you were like, oh, that's special. Yeah. And that's what that's what made him. There you go. Salute yeah. to the legends. Uh, got any more? Or are you good? Oh, we just got to show this. You're watching right. the highest show in the world. Yo, what's up? We're Wait. Escape. And we was just rocking with the Dr. Green yes. Thumb show. The, the highest, highest show, show in, in the world. world. Yeah, man, it's Jeezy. Jeezy World about to be on the Dr. Green Thumb show. Highest show in the world. Dr. Green Thumb Show, man. You already know what it is. What's up, y'all? It's Lil CC. I'm on the Dr. Green Thumb Show, the highest show in the world. What's happening? It's G Perico at the Dr. Green Thumb Show, the highest show in the world. Tune in right now. Big shout out to Be Real TV from Jesse Borrego and Crucito. Los Vatos Locos Forever. Word up. We're about to get into the insane asylum. That means y'all got a comment, question, shout out, suggestion. We want to hear it. Welcome to the Insane Asylum. All right, let's do this. We got Papa Peace. He's saying, what a great show today. To have Godfather and D'Lo Brown on, it's priceless. Watch you guys as a kid in Long Island, New York. Thank you for your hard work in the ring. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, dog. Appreciate it. I love hearing that type of stuff, man. Appreciate it. Makes you uh, realize the work you put in was all worth it when you yeah. have people 20 years, 30 years later telling you that. So I oh, you guys left impressions on people, man. Um, like, 
through generations. People grew up to you guys. Oh. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And they saw the the crazy ass work you all you guys put in. It's do you I know mean, how I watched like you guys. You guys were like yeah. superheroes and yeah. like to us like and to see you guys still looking like superheroes is even crazier, man. Like, Bro, it's, it's so cool to be doing these signings and stuff and have a 40-year-old man come up to you yeah. and shake your hand and be shaking and saying, you have no idea yeah, how much you real. affected me when I was yeah. a kid. It's Papa Shango. Yes. And I had nightmares and they're shaking your hand. <laughs> and they're like, dude, because I'm, I'm painted up, you know? And they're like, I'm still a little, you messed me up as a kid. It's just so cool that are the ultimate warrior making him throw up all this. It's still cool after all these years. People are still talking about yeah. it and putting it over. So, it, man, it's I love hearing it. Love Life, hearing it. Lifetime of memories. Yes, I'll give people. I love. I love when you same thing. The, the, the you know appearances and you talk, you you see the the cultural input that the nation put on the wrestling business and those fans. And you've you know it comes goes across all colors: white, black, yellow, green. Yeah, we love the nation. We be in school throwing the fist up, getting in trouble, and it's <laughs> like. You know, that's cool to yeah. hear. And, right. you know, you don't realize it when you're doing it. You're just having fun. Yeah, you're just having fun. And then you look yeah. back on it after some time, you're like, damn, we, we did some work. Yeah. You, we did yeah. some we were work. just having fun. Just have, it's just guys out there having fun. Legend. That's I the best kind of work. A couple of years ago when you came to the studio, I had posted the day before that you were going to come. A farmer from Calaveras, like eight hours up or whatever, drove all the way here. And you signed something and said, what's up to him outside? He drove all the way back. He drove that's, all the that's way so here cool, man. just for that. that. That's cool. He was so excited. He was like, he was my favorite growing up. <laughs> he drove all the way here just for that two oh. seconds. And back. Hey, man. Mm-hmm. We got STL saying, glad to see God, the Godfather back and shout to d as well. What's going on, my man? Appreciate you. Glad to be back. Believe me, I've taken the last three, four months to heal up, but you'll see more of me. We got Nick's print shop. He's asking if Godfather is going to do some flips today. Uh-huh. I'm He's not been, afraid. Yeah. I'm scared. He's been taking I ain't scared. He's been hitting the pee. I ain't never scared. He's been hitting the dab yeah. co. I yeah, mean, the, the puff, puff co. Threaten me with a good time. <laughs> I, it's just, I won't take no shots. Yeah. Not a boy. I know that yeah. everybody's like, yeah, sure. But no, I won't take no shots, but I'll take a bunch of dabs. Not a boy. I mean, yeah. That part. We got S9 saying salute and respect to the Godfather, a.k.a. Soul Taker, and Whoa. D-Lo, a.k.a. Uh-oh. the Ace Animal. Oh, wow. That's going back. That's going back. That's my first ring name. Wow. They, they know their shit over here. I like it. Soul Taker is going back to 87. That's uh, USWA, right? USWA, Memphis. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Go. It's a good goddamn name, Month. too. Soul Taker. Yeah. Taker of Souls. Yeah. Would you guys change your own name or, or, or the crowd... Makes that name for you guys. Uh, you initially come up with your own name, or the the promotion you go into yeah. gives you an idea of what yeah. they want you to do, and then you Stop. you it's you, given to you, then you own it. Do you know how I got Soul Taker? How'd you get Soul Taker? This tattoo right here, it was a. I think the artist was Franzetta. I think his name was, mm-hmm. and this was the Soul Taker, and the, I'm, the and all my tattoos were is taking women's souls and stuff. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, you message can't there. say that anymore, All right? <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> The dude's like, well, what's the name of this tattoo? And I'm like, he's the soul taker. And they said, that's your name. And that's how I got the soul taker. All right. All right. That sounds cool to me. It's better soul than fresh. Yeah. Yeah. It's very organic. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's a good name, though. Soul taker. I like for it. A wrestling, for a wrestling guy, the soul taker, that's some scary shit. That's right some scary that's shit. Scary. Bro, going to take his soul. Yep. If you, were, if, if you had kept that name, you could have partnered up with Taker, Taker. and y'all would have been the Takers. <laughs> I like one puts you in the ground, one takes your soul. Yeah. yeah. Boy. Whoa. Yep. Mark, is it too late? Whoa. Right? Oh, nah, it's too let, late. I, I'm, I'm taking notes. We could probably do a tour here. <laughs> we can't call Vince no more. <laughs> oh, that's that <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm going to leave that one alone next week. Yeah, I'm going to leave that one alone next, next one. Yeah, next yeah. question. And we got S9 again saying that elevator got hit with the Papa Shango curse. <laughs> Word. Put that voodoo lock on him. Man. Or sprayed it. <laughs> Squeeze. I don't remember doing it. I'm not even sure I did it. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think D-Lo's making this up. I, I don't know where there was more fluid at. Cup flame, you know, rolling down the uh, Ultimate Warrior's forehead or that elevator. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not my proudest moment. Not my proudest moment. We got Kale asking Godfather, did you know Johnny K9? He was yes. my bro at the time, and we were bridge partners in the Kingston Pen in Ontario, Canada. Oh, uh, wow. We all knew, uh, you knew him. Too, I know right? him. I know K9 very well. I actually lived with him in Smoky Mountain Wrestling. So there you go. I, I know K9 very well. I knew him on the independent circuit. And he did enhancement work up for New York, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
This yeah, him right look, here? Yeah, look at him. This brother had True to the Crew tattooed right on his belly, and he's, man. He was with a motorcycle. Uh, uh, motor he was big. He was big, big in Canada, yeah. A big outlaw group yes. he was part of, and yeah. And he looked yeah. probably what he was in jail for, I guess. Yeah, uh, I'm not. He was a real deal. Yeah, no, he's legit. He, he was, was a real deal. What did he from? I see he said he passed away. Uh, he passed know? away in uh, in jail, in a cell. Oh, okay. Yeah, but he was the real yeah. deal. Yeah, he, he was legit. Was his fun, but he yeah. was he was legit. He was legit. Yeah. He he was he was a legit soul taker. Yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't. You oh. you we were this whole show without any problems with Cali. I've had more right. problems with in the context him. of the ring. You took my soul a ton of times, so <laughs> I ain't gonna tell nobody. <laughs> Come on, man. I hear it. I hear it. That choke slam still hurts. Oh, <laughs> stop! Stop! Mm. A little static here. <laughs> you used to be my manager. Remember that. I got you were my fucking manager. You held tight. Bobo was... Uh, Your manager's oh, not here. Yours. He refused to be here. Yeah. Oh, man, I was hoping he was here, too. I'm still yeah. trying to put fights together. <laughs> 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 All right, what else? We you might got? have an arm wrestling over here. What you got? No, no, I, I, no. I, I, I'm not part of any of that. What do you think of that use? power slap? Oh, did you ever watch that? Did you? Ever... I watched it a lot. I, and I what was going to bring slap for cash on the show, yeah, that's but right. you were uh, gone for a while. Did you ever... Trip I, on this thing. I, I watched it and and you, I was morbidly curious, so I watched it and unintentionally I got into it <laughs> because they've got the UFC model where you're so built on the backstory of the guy going into the the, yeah. the bout yep. that okay this is stupid slapping somebody but I'm invested in this guy who's who's right. working for his wife who's sick at home with their three kids and he's got to win this bout. The story's got you. <laughs> yeah. It hooked yeah. me. I'm like. And, uh, boom. and not for nothing, those, some of them sl yeah. knockout slaps are crazy. Like I, per, I, I don't I think I would ever it. do that. I don't no think way. I would, uh, you I would talk me. Most I would offensive have, thing ever. I would ha I have to have nothing else left to do in the world. Yeah. yeah. And then I would, I would say, okay, you can slap. I would play money. paddle ball first. I, 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 yeah, I would I would try to perfect pickleball. Something. Pickleball, excuse yeah. me, pickleball. I, that would be like, I got nothing I left. They're about that. to take everything I got. Honestly, I'd rather be punched. It's the name look, of the look, game, look at, look man. I mean, you got to be a good sport because, like, how do you not want to, like, punch go, right go away? Go at them. Exactly. Well, and you ain't going to punch nobody when they knock you out. And, like, it's like but well, yeah, how do you go back to the out, house? Yeah. How do you go back to the house with someone who slapped you like they owed you money? That's what I mean. I'd rather And then I got to sit there and go, yeah. I got to still go to break bread with you and talk. My face is swolt up like a, like a grapefruit. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I, and I got to be cool with that. And I got to be, yeah, I got to. Nah. I'll get like, you next nah, time, I couldn't, buddy. See, I could not be cool nah. with that. Question nah. of the day. Nah, B. Do they make money doing this? Oh, they, what? They, I, I think the winner of the whole the thing The winners make money, money yeah. but Damn. the rest of the time, you're there for a <laughs> nah, good time. You make good some slap. money. You make some money. You're making some money, but you ain't, you ain't yeah, breaking yeah, off. You ain't like, getting uh, it, big no, money, it's, but, a uh, it's a competition to get the pot. Yeah. Uh, so it's like if you didn't win the pot, you didn't get no money. on the way to the pot. You ain't that crazy blonde girl. Like it slaps and like smiled, like they slapped the soul out of her, and she just <laughs> smiled. I was like, "What I, the hey, hell was uh, that?" Bruh. It's beyond me. But yeah, I, I I fell in love with the stories, not in love with the action. Yeah, the action is crazy. Um, because I just don't know how. Like a boxing, I get. You know what I mean? You both got yeah. gloves. The UFC, I get. You both got the gloves. It's you know, it's. But you're letting a dude slap you when your arms are behind your back. There you go. And hopefully that you could stand up from it to give it yes. back to them. There's yeah. also a lot of rules, man. Like you can't yeah, lift your heel. Oh, the way that you know, no, if you lift your heel it's up, a different blonde girl. Shit, her lights yeah. went out. You see, out. So you see the moment her lights go out. Yeah. But imagine in in and they said in box. She roll. Watch her. She rolls. If oh, they don't show it. She actually rolls over face forward after that. Like she actually tumbles to. Well, because they are trying to get up. She yeah, was, they're trying to get you're concussed. Yeah. yeah. But imagine in boxing, you go, all right, dog. Our fight's gonna <laughs> consist of. I'm gonna stand with my hands behind my back, and you're gonna give me your biggest haymaker. But you know what? And if I get that. back, if I get back up, you gotta take mine, bro. Yeah. See, I'd rather that because if you get knocked out from a haymaker, it's way more land manly than literally manly. getting bitch slapped out cold. Uh, man. Hold on, that is not hold on. Good. Let, let, let me just say this, yeah. Cali Blaze. I mean, oh. getting knocked out with a knuckle with yeah. from your fist, yes, or this part of your hand yep. is you the can't same use that shit. Part of your hand. That's illegal. Well, they're using it. No, it's illegal. Though. Man, if oh, no, you look you at some of their it. techniques, I'm just they are they are sneaking yeah. it in. There's no I mean, way that, that you you cannot generate force enough I'm, on this front end of your four fingers to get that. I'm just I, I, I've seen I'm just these guys you. in the gym 
practicing with the rubber face and just smacking <laughs> it, smacking it. Pow. All they, I know all day long, they smacking this face. All, all I know is this is going to sleep, is going to sleep, whether it's an open hand or yes. a fist. Yeah. I, I don't want ever That's to happen. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. I don't want it to happen. Yes, yep. you got to be down and out. Yes. Boy. Like, okay, I'll agree to it. What's the pot, though? Bruh. How many you know. slaps do I got to take? <laughs> how many slaps do you got to take to get like, to get to the pot? Is there an um, amount of slaps? Or you you get, knock somebody you get out? one slap. Each person gets one slap per round. Then I think it's a maximum of five rotations. So if you last that long, you, you look like you've been beat to hell. Uh, or at least one side of your face. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen that From, guy. I've yeah. seen people side look side like side. their face is... Looks distorted, like yes. it's it's out here swole. Yeah. It's 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 like tournament rounds. Does so it basically go to yeah, like yeah, a decision? Yeah, yeah. Does it go to like a decision? And then they go to no. a decision. No, 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 no. It's it's, it's what it's a tie if they go all the way. To, if they go five rounds each, is it a two tie? guys or chicks go all the way to the top and then face off against each other? One of them got to knock each. Oh, so, the other so you go until you so you go until someone goes to sleep. Yeah, I think so. Okay. See, I didn't know. If we look, at that, yeah, look, that, at that, look at that. Look at that. That was the winner. That no. Look at that. Yeah, that's the winner. Yeah. Nope. Actually, yeah. No. Yep. Okay. Nothing. All slaps. Okay. So, so can we go back to that face? Look, <laughs> look at that face game. right there. Thanks, Nothing slapper. about that screams good time to me. No. no. Nah, not at all. Man, I hope you did. It's not. It's not about the good time. It's about the. Hold on. The cheddar. Hold on. Go back to that shot. Look how big homie's hand is right on it's, his face. It's, right. it's, I was, whoa. His, wow. his hands are so big, his fingers are reaching the back of his look, head. And there's indents in the guy's yep. head. Look. Oh, and yeah. that guy won. The dude whose face is crooked like that. He beat yeah. that mongoloid. And he ain't as big as the other <laughs> guy. He fucking put that guy, put him out Mongoloid. and won the match. Caveman. Yeah, no, I would not be uh, doing this for no, nothing. No, I don't even know I how I would feel whatever. about I, I wouldn't. I, I, I mean, I, I could only watch this on TV. I yeah. don't know if I could yeah. be. There I couldn't be live. Right. I couldn't yeah. do it live. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I might. I might lose it. I couldn't. I'd be live. mad for a few people. Yeah. Like, how, are Martin you not? It. How are you not pissed off? Oh. Hey, <laughs> shout out, shout out, Dana White. Yeah, yeah you right? got he that. Man. You know what? Seriously. That brother found another money maker. Didn't he, he sure did. So, because you know, it's got people hooked. That's Cheers. for sure. All right, what well else? Done. We got a. Let's see here. We got Ask a Bum, and he's um saying bad, bad Dilo Brown, baddies man in the whole damn town. You better recognize, dog. Thank you, my man. We got Jeffro asking Les, how was it working with Common on Heidi Ho Breaker One Nine Remix? He's saying oh, I'm man. stoned, and that was a random thought. Yeah, I mean those days was was crazy with Common. You know, we it was forty ounce days. We was drinking those forty ounces, smoking Common. the blunts. And it was just a great time. We would, we would go around the cities just touring and, you know. Nope. No oh, ID. Yeah. Shout out to Kanye West. You know, that whole Chi-Town family, we was right there family. Work. We got to ask a bum. Godfather, could a brawl for all work today in WWE? No. No. <laughs> the guys today are smart enough not to get into it. Yeah. Not like stupid shits like me that just, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. That was crazy. Yeah. Tell yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Another, not one of my finer moments. Uh, awkward silence. <laughs> yeah, awkward silence. They just signed that. They just, on Dark Side of the Ring, they just played that again. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I remember being there live and going, all right, I know Godfather was going to not. What happened to Big Perm? <laughs> what the? Big the Perm got a little bit too confident and cocky yeah. and got caught. Yeah, <laughs> got caught hard. You can get by caught. somebody that can hit hard. Because you know, I I'll tell you guys full disclosure. In the back, you know, in states that it was legal, we were back there making side bets on who was going to win, and I had all my money on Big Perm. Taker had a lot of money on me. Yep, I had money on Big Perm in states that it was legal. I got to preface that. Did I preface? Yes, that? you did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 What can you do? I rem uh, yeah, I remember seeing that one. Oh. Like, oh, oh Damn. my god, I. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Now they're now it's on the brawl for are the uh, dark side. Dark of the side, ring. yeah. And then my yeah. daughter calls me. She goes, "It's bad enough what happened to you." She goes, "But every time you got on, I'll, I was high. I was high. I was smoking. I was <laughs> high. We were high. I was high." <laughs> I'm like, well, it's probably high. <laughs> Sometimes you get caught, you know, right. when, oh, you're, hey. when you're high. Look, Mike Tyson got caught. I'm Everybody not even. Gets I'm caught. not blaming Everybody it on caught. that. Well, I'm not even blaming it. I'm because I was high. All high got me there. I just overconfident and got caught. Mm -hmm. That'll happen. Yeah, you said you didn't train enough either, too. You said I did not. I just, I really thought that I was so tough that you I could go in there and beat it. I mean, I fought Dan Severin. How much did you train for it? None. 
Ah, uh, wow. there it is. I mean, you was doing it, and that's our natural I, ability. You got that. No, from, not did one. You, did you even do push-ups in the hotel? No, I, I, was, I didn't do any boxing training or anything yeah. in a, a boxing gym. What I should have been doing, because we had plenty of time, mm -hmm. is when I was home, I should have went to One Kicks Gym and started training <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I nah. You you relied on your natural. I really hand thought skills. that nobody could beat me. I I got, but he's knocked out three people. So. You're going to knock yeah. me? You know, I, I really didn't think, <laughs> yeah. I honestly didn't think, I've never lost a fight in my life. I didn't think he could beat me. Hmm. And guess what? It was just his day. He, it was a good day for him. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, you know, it is what it is. He must have been drinking before that. No. 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 He, was drink, he was drinking afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's just drinking <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> we got hybrid cipher saying the megalodon is in the building. Welcome back to Godfather. Thank you. And it's a pleasure to be back, believe me. We got the Pope asking D'Lo, do you miss the X Pac feud? Yeah, because that was like X Pac and I, I we had such great chemistry in the ring. Like I think he and I could have a five star match in a phone booth. Like you guys it was had this. great matches. We had great matches. Even when, we didn't even have to, like, it was like, go work each other. Okay, great. Never talk. Just be in the ring. You guys just knew how to move. It was just for some yeah. reason, and, 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 and Papa will tell you, there's certain people you have that mm -hmm. connection with. You can't explain it. Yeah. When you do, it's just electric every time. Those made for the best matches. Those were the, that's, that's what, you know, it's, uh, it, it, those are the matches that made me. Yeah. Like, I'm still living off those matches today. Yeah. You great think Dilo, honestly, is one of the most under- rated wrestler workers out there man i mean he he can out 100 percent better than me but he is legitimately one of the best workers out there i believe uh, and you were putting a, a lot of work in for a long time I <laughs> oh mean, yeah, yeah 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 he could work man he could work with you could put him in the ring what they say like rick flair could have a match with the, a broomstick so could he man he could you can put him in with the guy a midget you could put him in there with a giant you yeah. can put him in there with a woman hmm. and he'll make a match out of it do you think that X Pac's move was like the biggest move to like with kids with everything? Meaning well, like, that was a degeneration. That DX cross yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That, do you think that was probably the most? Used? Oh yeah, yeah, right. without a doubt. Because that's, that's something you could. Say. That's something that everyone could do, no matter People where you are. Still were. doing it. They're still doing it. Football players and Gotta still do it. Yeah. And that's right. the biggest. That's the biggest f you you can say to somebody yeah. without saying it. Yeah. Yeah, it's still around. Yeah, it, it's the, the one before it was. Oh, Hogan, yeah, yeah, Hogan. yeah, the Hogan. Right. Yeah, yeah, the Hogan. That's right, yeah. it was. Yeah. And but I think boys. people felt like after a while that that was kind of hokey, so, yeah. you know, this served them better, you know? That was yeah. perfect for it the, was, the yeah. time. For yeah. the attitude, yeah. That, for the attitude yeah. here. And it's, it's you can do it. Kids can get away with like, yeah, as they're running away from the bully who's going <laughs> to try to fight them, you know? Get thrown out of school. I have <laughs> yeah. kids saying that they got in trouble, you know, they'd be in school, do it to <laughs> just don't do it to your mom or your dad because you yeah. still live at home they will whoop your ass all right well not these days they not will. these days no we got humble saying wwf on n64 and playstation that was the shit when i was a little kid oh uh, damn good game yes you don't yeah. know nothing about that one that was uh 97 98 you was in that one? Oh yeah yeah sky high was sky high was bad as hell in that That's moment fine. yeah yeah nice. yeah we got Devin up in here saying, D-Lo, your frog splash is legendary, and you do not get enough credit for that. Uh, That's right. Damn right. I, I appreciate that. Thank You're you, my man. Damn right. That's Ahmed Johnson. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. I mean, it was back back in the days, it was all about the moves. Everybody had that move that yeah. they would bust out and it's over. Mm -hmm. You understand? The, yeah. the, thing, the thing about us at that time is each person had something that was identifiable. Yeah. yeah. And you knew it. It was iconic to that guy. Yeah. And you sat and you waited for that moment. When you saw it, you were like, yeah. oh, there it is. Yeah. They, sold, they yeah. sold the moment. Yeah, like, yes. Yeah. Uh, and that, that was everyone on our roster had that moment. In yeah. that era, they were great at selling you guys' moments. Yes. Right. And that yes. shit was like is scripted beautifully, yeah. beautifully. You know what I mean? And that was what it's all about, was making that moment that people, this is before viral, it was just the, the moment people remember. So when they showed it on that video package, you get excited again like it was happening for that first time. You know what You know what always blew people's mind? And, and, and uh, you know, the guys would sell it every time when you guys would put each other's special move on each other and then slip out of it. Right. They try to put you in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Slip out of it, and it's going back and forth Love for a that. second. Yeah. And then the pause. Yeah. Yeah, and the pause like looking. Yeah. Look okay, okay. okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, that was always good right there, man. Yeah. That was a good sell point. <laughs> right next. Found a little gif here of the frog splash. 
Oh, that's where you had the, the, the what did Ron call Ooh. that? Wow. The turtle that's, that turtle, that's a turtle shell. Ron Simmons <laughs> called it the turtle <laughs> shell. <laughs> he gonna get you with that turtle shell. You know, tur- Damn. <laughs> get him, D-Lo. I, I was lucky. I was a bigger dude, and I, I flew kind of like, like luches. Yeah. So that was my little niche. I could fly or I could, uh, I could beat you in the face. You know, I could pound on your oh, whatever. Right. Hey. <laughs> hey, bro. Watch out. Right. Hey, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. See, yeah, see? Where you going, see? bro? It's not just bro, me. Listen, hey, look, here. See? Let me I get can't here. help it, man. You say it. I'm, I can't let here, that here go, go, man. Pass that. Pass that. Pass that. Let's do this again. I got this. Let's do 900 of these again. I got this. Hey, that, but it was a world class uh, frog splash oh, yeah. all day. Uh, I was, it was, it was, it, I found it with uh, Los Gringos Locos Art Bar and Eddie Guerrero. Art Bar created it, um, Eddie Guerrero perfected it. I just borrowed it. And you did it great, my friend. We got A Los up in here saying, Yo, Cali Blaze, don't mess around if you can't handle the heat, don't lace up them cleats. He's talking about Coach Blaze. Oh, let's go, man. Yeah. Bring your kid out. Let this toughening up time. It's a, yeah, I'm going I'm, I'm I'm to be, you too. I'm gonna be 1,000 with them. Like, you got to be tough on these kids. <laughs> Listen, kid, you, you like, suck. Tough. If you're <laughs> soft, if you're soft, they're going to be soft. <laughs> it's true. False rewards, man. You got to earn it. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> and we got Charlie up in here saying, damn, hearing you guys talk, wrestling must have been a 300-plus day a year job. Poo-hoo. Uh, I think my high was 320 on the road. Damn. As far yeah. as I remember, I think I was 308. Mm. Uh, and and uh, I remember I was living, I was my, my apartment was in Chicago. I remember being on the road for a month. The only reason I got home to Chicago to get my bills is we played Chicago that night. Mm. We didn't even stay at my house. We had to drive on to Des Moines, Iowa for, to, to be on the sh- so I didn't get to stay at home. You had a place, but you were never there. It was a place where my, my clothes lived. Your clothes lived there. And I literally, this, is before, this is before you could pay your bills online or with your phone or whatever. I literally went home, grabbed my bills, grabbed my checkbook, went to work, got on the road, and started mailing my, mm. my bills out from the road. Damn. 300 was just average. 300 was average. To 290 right. to 300 was just average. I mean, That's think about it, it. What do you think these these uh, new kids work. 52. 52. 52. 52. Wow. And they don't do house shows. No. Wow. So we would, we, you know, think about this. You would do live Raw, live SmackDown. Right there, there's 104 days. That's 104 TV days. Now, throw in three days a week in between that. Yeah. With the live shit, right? With, with, your, with the house shows. Oh, with the house shows. With the house shows. That, that are not on TV. That are not on TV. That's right. Damn. I'd get home on Wednesdays, mm-hmm. and we'd normally have to leave on Thursdays because yeah. I had to take a red eye to be in New York the next morning. Yeah, I, I, you got I, home. I was home one day a week, and then sometimes you wouldn't even go home because you'd be like, as soon as I go home, yeah, I got right. just eight yeah. hours, I'd get back on a plane. For the most yeah, part, yeah. you would go Stay home, you would go home, and you would change out clothes. There you go. Bad. Yeah. And then it was, I'm on a plane you or or I get I get state. dinner. I get night. my hair braided. Yeah, I get. I would right get. Back on the road. You'd yep. get dinner that night with whoever you know, significant other. Maybe you slept in your bed. Maybe, maybe, maybe. if you're lucky. You took a nap in your bed. You maybe. took a nap, maybe, because you might have missed the, the the late flight out. Because you know, I lived in Florida, so everything was back home to Florida at the time. And then it was okay. It's either leave it eleven o'clock or ten o'clock at night, or get on at five a.m. And at five a.m. sucks no matter where. Man. It is. Yeah, it does. No, yeah. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. It wasn't easy. No. It's easier now. It's easier now. It's easier hey, now. It'll be easier on their bodies later. Yeah. We got Josh asking who would win a, in a triple threat match between the Godfather, Kama, and Papa Shango. He's saying the special wow, guest referee in this match would be Charles Wright. Whoa! Wow. Wow. That's a great question. Oh, I think Kama, he's God. the ultimate fighting machine. Yeah, but God, Godfather would, would call in the hose, and, and Papa Shango might put a curse on everybody. Uh, yeah, it's a tough one, but I'm going to go with Kama. You should, yeah. What about the referee? He might, have, he might have most, have something to say about it. Might have. Kama be, yo, Charles Wright, though, he's a good dude. He's a good <laughs> dude, but he have, might have something to say what about it. What if he gets bribed by Godfather yeah. with some hoes? Ooh, I didn't Boom. think about that. That's going to happen, yeah, too. <laughs> They all know There's going to be girls involved every, somewhere. Every character has a lot of power, man. That's so true. They have it, it's, powers, that's, man. You know what? That's a main event anywhere in the ring. <laughs> yeah. You are a trinity, my friend. <laughs> right there. You go. There, look, look at, there, look at look that. Look at that. Bugging, look at that. <laughs> Beat bugging. I think I got comma, too, uh, bro. Look at comma. Look at comma. He's ready to go. Yeah, he no joke like this. <laughs> no, that, 
Oh wow! Imagine, that imagine being in a, imagine being right? in a bar. Imagine being in a bar and seeing that walk over to you when you do something wrong. He taps your shoulder. Yes. What? Yeah. Oh. And you you turn around, you look at that. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> yeah, and he'd have on like some t-shirt, what you say? A jean vest, and I see. Yeah, him and that's that's you looking like at that. me. Go. What happened was. <laughs> what, what happened, happened was. was <laughs> what my fault. Or, he started it. Or it's happening again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, ha- happening God. again. Look uh, at that. That's when I I took the Undertaker's urn and made a chain out of it. Nice. Oh wow. Yeah, that was in good shape. That's there. a good story. And you had a good stylist back then too. Yeah, man. That was I had the hair. Look at that, man. Hell yeah. In the glory. Look at that. Oh, oh, like you know what it stood for, outfits. Combo? Huh? You know what it stood for? K A M A? No. Kick any man's ass. Okay. Damn. Yeah. The more you Learned know. Something nice new. acronym. The more you know. It's just yeah. like, I'm going to call you, comma, kick any man's ass. But they never, they never really. They never, that. I never knew that. That's the first time I ever heard mm-hmm. that was today. Because they gave me a Harley. They got me to come back to TV because they promised, they said, you can, you can ride a Harley. That was yeah. part of the gimmick. And then it was, that's before Vince bought into Titan. And so. Nobody had to, you had to rent them. So they'd, they'd rent them from places. It'd be sportsters. It'd be lit dressers. And then says, no more Harley. So once he said that, I'm like, I'm out of here then. And no. that's what happened to Kama. I'm like, dude, I ain't going to stay if I ain't right. I, I'm at uh, home looking at naked women every day, making more money than I'm making here. What the hell I want to be on the road getting beat up for? There you uh, go. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. That's we got, about as real as you can get. We got the Godfather's <laughs> favorite, Rusty Shackelford. He's Rusty. asking, is Cody Rhodes going to finish the story at WrestleMania? D'Lo, what do you think? D'Lo has more knowledge than me on this. Um, from a perspective of, of TV, he'd have to finish the story because I don't know if you can keep him hot enough for another year for another loop to Mania again. Right. I don't know. It's, it's, it's amazing he stayed this hot this long with the, the story being so open-ended. So, in my opinion, he's got to finish it or he's kind of like, that's kind of, let's move on to the next one. Yeah, with no closure to the with story. no closure. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's my thing. And, and if it's if it's like it doesn't happen at Mania, that's the that's the showcase of the Immortals. It's got to happen there. Every story needs closure. Yes, I mean that's that's always the foundation, and then you build a new story from that. Yeah, because if if you have it, it's just the nature of business. If you have once upon a time, you've got to finish what happily ever after. Right. You have to. You have to. There's the, it's the road to happily ever after. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. We got to uh, ask a bum, any Haku beat up six guys stories? <laughs> you know, the thing with Haku is the stuff that he did was way before I got yeah. there. And when I got there, he was older and, you know, he, he wasn't doing none of that stuff anymore. So I don't really have any, you know, I, yeah. just, I just know stories. He's genera- nice guy. Nice guy. He, Nicest he's, guy he's, in the world. He's generationally considered the toughest guy this business has ever seen. Hmm. Uh, I haven't never seen any of it, but I mean, it was before us. His, right. his stories proceed him, yeah. so that tells you all but you need to know. But nicest guy in the world. His yeah. wife oh, yeah. was a lot meaner than him. Yes, his wife was the mean one. His <laughs> wife was the mean one. <laughs> Oof. Sometimes that's how be. <laughs> yeah, she was the one that you watch out for. Mm. <laughs> we got Rye up in here. Did the WWE ever have tobacco or beer sponsorships? And if so, did they ever send you guys products? No, not, not that I know. I I, I know Stone Cold. Steve might have had the, the had a beer sponsorship, but yeah. that might have been it. But no tobacco. That was not. That was frowned that upon. Was never acceptable. No. And the last one so far, we got Ask a Bum. He's asking, um, anybody at the table, would you let me interview you for a class project? I go to University of Iowa and have to interview a sports professional. Hmm. Professor says wrestlers are okay. That that counts me out. Oh, I, you know, I'm not a. <laughs> We're gonna sign. Be real up for wrestling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh hell no. We get you out there, bump and be real. You'd be okay. <laughs> uh, the the. Uh, to, uh, <laughs> um, you. I, yeah. I don't. Yeah. I I don't do many of them. If you caught me at the right time, maybe you know. But uh, good luck with it. But I I just it, it, there's so many out there. And I get asked to do three or four a day, and it's just, I mean, it's yeah. hard to do. It, consume, I, I, it consumes a lot of your time. And it I, I would say a lot of time. The easy thing for me is if I say yes to one, yes. then I have to say yes to a thousand. All. You did that one? Yeah, and that's how, and that's how, that's how it spins. And then I'm, I'm stuck in, and I, I love them, 
but I'm, I don't want to do 10 interviews a day and repeat the same for, same story. For everyone else, it's a brand new thing. For me, yeah. it's the same story, same interview every time. It's like a cannabis panel, right, B? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, like doing a cannabis panel. I so, mean, what's I, wrong with hey, the business? Taxes, regulation? I didn't say it, but I'm not going to disagree. Yeah. Um, it's 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 like with me when, they, when sometimes they ask me to go do radio to come up for something. I'm like, well, what would I be going for? You know, because whoever I I go to, they already know the story, and we've right. been around for thirty years. Mm -hmm. Like, how new could it be when you've asked the same question every time I've come through? How did the group start? And well, what was your you know this that and the other? And it's all the same questions, and it's you know so it gets redundant. So yeah. they they get harder to do unless someone makes it interesting. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't make it interesting, and it's like, ah, oh, nah, I don't even want to deal with this. I mean, part of part of the key is just chop it up, man. Just oh. chop it up. If I was a sports yeah. guy and I had some insight on what you needed, maybe. But you know, hey, I'm just a rapper. All right. Uh, anything else? I uh, just got one more. We got the greatest wrestling collection. He's saying D'Lo was right. Bear was definitely lifted and gifted that night. Hell <laughs> yeah! Shout out to GWC. <laughs> When I was, just real quick, when I was back there, I guess I called GWC and I was back there and I left my phone on. So he got the, I don't think he taped it, but he heard the whole thing, that everything that happened. Really? I left my phone on and I guess it was on the monitor. So he heard the whole thing. But yeah, shout oh, out to and, you, GWC. But D, yeah. I forgot my action figure too, man. I got you. Oh, bro. You know, make, like, I, I, you know. Make sure, well, I'll take care of you. We'll get it. We'll, 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 I'll that's sign up. We'll, 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 we'll take yeah. care of that, bro. That's my, my pleasure. Don't worry about that. Word up. You, you just mad. I ain't, I'm, I'm like, I'm mad. I ain't asking you guys for autographs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on, man. Oh, that's an easy one, man. I got you all day. Easy. I mean, it's, it's so honored to have you here, man. Yeah. Watching you work for so many years along with, with GF here, man. It's, it's, it's an honor to have you both, you know? Cause I, you know, I grew up watching wrestling, and I watched you guys in your time, and it was a fucking awesome time. Oof. So salute to you guys yeah, thank always. Thank you, thank you, and salute to everybody out there that got down with us today uh, on the table. Doctor Green Thumb Show, much love and positive vibes to you. We got the mix show after this. Real psycho, psycho lesson myself. We're gonna jump on the turntables and knock it down for you. So make sure you tune in right after this. All right, um, GF, you got any shout outs? Just. First of all, uh, I want to shout, not shout out, but, but condolences goes out. Virgil died yeah. uh, yesterday, rest man. And just rest in peace, Virgil. He, he was a good dude. And just uh, glad to be back on the show. Sorry it took me so long to get back, but I'm back now, man. And it's just a pleasure to be here. Missed everybody out there. And just follow me on Instagram and you'll see what I'm doing. And stay on that smoke train. <laughs> How about you, D? Uh, I'll second it. Like when I say, uh, you know, R.I.P. Virgil, good dude there. And then I want to say what an honor it is to be here talking with you. Um, I've watched from afar. Last time I was here, you weren't here. So it's, it's, I'm great and glad and thankful that we got to do this together. Yes, sir. To share this time. And then for all the people out there, you know, hey, D. LeBron's always out there. Hit me up on Twitter, X, whatever it is, at D. LeBron75. And uh, that lets you know where I'm at, what I'm doing. And, uh, hey, I might have to sit on the smoke train for a little bit. That's right. There you go. <laughs> Recognize that. Psycho Leasy. Uh, I want to shout out everybody on the chat, you know, hanging out with us. Big D Lo, Big GF, of course. I haven't seen them in a minute. And the whole Dr. Green Thumb Squad. We just doing it Monday to Friday. Tune in. Also, if you're not following me yet on the IG, it's Psycho Less Official. And if you're checking for the merch, TheCycleLessShop.com and get ready for this mix. Master mix, master mix. Bolt. Shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Ray Morning Shot Films. Shout out to The Dominator. And also shout out to Ghost Boogie at Bart's Barbecue and I will be on his podcast tonight that starts at 8 p.m. on The Usual Suspects Podcast. What's up, C-minus? Uh, shout out to everyone. Shout out to the Treehouse crew because I, I got to hang out with them today. Shout out to everyone at the table, GF, d -Lo, pleasure as always. You can follow me at C-Fan4 on all social medias. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Great day. Shout out to GF, d -Lo. Thanks for coming through. It's great having you guys back, man. Um, now that you're feeling better, hopefully we can get it uh, a little more often. Uh, everybody in the crowd, 5150, is the same song. Everybody at the table, much love. 
Stay with love in your heart and positivity. Throw that boof energy out the window and keep pushing forward, meaning put that work in. Swallow that.